Phantom, you ruined it for them all. Well done. I love Phantom of the Opera. Like that was a good, that was my actually, the first musical that I watched that I actually enjoyed. Cause well, to be completely honest, I had a crush on Gerard Butler. So that really helped. <laughs> Uh, oh, Nugget's leaving. I can finally turn on my, my light. There we go. You've never seen Phantom? I do recommend it, Sammy. It's really good. It's really good. Um, okay, but Gerard Butler can get it. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're ranting too much. We gotta go play some games. We gotta go play some games. We'll keep talking about this, but we can actually start. Uh, if my game capture wants to show up. There it goes. There it goes. Because, yeah, we, we'll keep talking about this while I actually get everything set up. Started collecting Gerard Butler movies after Phantom. Good, good choice, good choice. Cause he's amazing. Phantom is lovely. Your dad liked to give you hell for loving the Gerard Butler version so much because he liked the older movie more. Yeah, I don't think I've seen the, the older version. So I, I can't say if it was good or not. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna spin our wheel and see which challenge we're starting off with today. Where's my wheel? Oop, there we go. Okay. So I just have our, our normal challenges up and ready to go. <gasps> Ooh! Aww! It was so close to Deck of Answers, but it went past. We're on starter items only. Okay. Okay. That's easy peasy. We'll do this on... Let's do, like, normal nightmare mode. Let's do it. We never play on nightmare mode. Uh, so remove everything. So just starter gear only. We'll just do a nice classic nightmare mode. Let's go. Um, random map two. We're go it's gonna be random map day. Woo! Ridgeview, let's go. You convinced yourself that you had a crush on Gerard Butler in high school, so that's fair. I was like, he's just like, it, even just like as the character of the fan of the Phantom of the Opera, like he was so alluring, just like the the way he portrayed the character that it was like the mystery behind the man. It was like, oh, oh, oh so good. This is now a theater and Gerard Butler review <laughs> stream. Okay, can we talk about um? What is that movie he was in with uh, Jennifer Aniston? The Bounty Hunter. Can we talk about The Bounty Hunter then? Because that was a great movie too. I really enjoyed that as well. Oh, uh, we need to get game audio actually going. There we go. And do you like his voice a lot? He's right, that man can sing. Ah, we got William Roberts. We need to repel the ghost of the incense while it's chasing us, witness a ghost event, and capture a photo of the ghost. Let's see. I also got to put up current challenge. Starter items only. And we'll say on nightmare. I, I, ooh, nightmare. Interesting, that's a word. Nightmare, there we go. Let's see, can I, can I get that message pinned? So you learned after you became an adult that your dad's just a snob about a lot of shit. And there's a lot, oh, pinned mes message. Thank you, thank you, Savvy. Let's see, there's a lot more good media out there that you grew up thinking. That's kind of fair, because like, I, I think I was kind of in a similar boat with my mom, where she definitely kind of didn't, really introduce us a lot to a lot of like the more modern stuff just because she liked what she liked and that's what we would watch too. Uh, so yeah, I get that. Nightmare. Tee hee hee hee. Ah, the breaker starts off. What is this fucking nonsense, man? Um, and actually I need to make sure, cause I just remember I did dial down audio for the game yesterday. Is it, let me know if it's too quiet. It might be okay. I'm seeing my breath right here though. Is that gonna be significant? You honestly think Gerard's voice is the reason you like 70s, 80s rock music so much? See, I, I I probably can't say that because I liked that style of music before I even knew who, who Gerard Butler was. But that could be a good reason why, yeah. Eh. You be sleeping? Uh, I want to sleep too. Can we just take a big nap all together on stream? Yes. Siesta time. Boop. Let's get the breaker on. There we go. So far, I'm not hearing anything. It's very selective with media, like you didn't have any game consoles that weren't PlayStation as a kid because you didn't want to give up brand loyalty to Sony. Oh, oh no, that would drive me crazy. So my mom wasn't like that. She she could not have cared less about brand loyalty, but we weren't really allowed to play video games just because she was like, no, no video games for you. Nightmare is when the ghost character models are so old. <laughs> Can we actually have that for like an April Fool's Day or something where the ghosts are just fucking jacked? I would be here for that. I got a, a DSi when you were like 11. That's like, yeah, my, my first um, video game console, I, I want to say was the PlayStation 2. I honestly can't remember. Oh, ghost up here. I did not turn on that light, so it's not a mare immediately. I... 
because I either got my Nintendo DS first or my PlayStation 2 first. I, I kind of got them at the same period of time. So I, I unfortunately can't remember which one was actually my first. Uh, but I just remember that I wanted video games so bad that I got a, I started a dog walking business just to pay for video games. So still play on your DSi from time to time. It's like, yeah, I got my DS right over there in the corner still. Uh, we still got uh, Chase's Game Boy as well. Like we have a whole bunch of old consoles. I still have my PS2 as well. I don't have it uh, here with me. It's back with my mom in my hometown. But eventually, I'm going to bring it with me because I still have Rock Band on it and it still works. So, ah! Let's see. And Apple Jr., welcome on in. How are you doing today? Cooking Mama 3. Cooking Mama 3. I don't think I know that. Oh, yeah. Your DS is right in front of you with Pokemon loaded up in sleep mode. Let's go. That's like, yeah, the DS was fucking amazing. I love that little thing. I, haven't, I have not played on mine in a very long time, though. Okay, you're throwing things in here. Uh, door touch? I don't have... Where's my UV light? Hang on. Didn't I have one of those? I did. Let's grab that. Yes, we have fingerprints because we are playing on nightmare mode. Uh, so we got ultraviolet. So we should have two pieces of evidence to find. Oh, which, which room is the ghost actually in? You wonder how your Nintendogs are doing? Yes, Nintendogs was so good. Oh my God. Did you guys ever uh, like put up one of your dogs for adoption on Nintendogs? Like, have you ever seen anything more heartbreaking? Because there was one time I accidentally got a type of dog that I didn't want. So I wanted a different time, a different kind. And I was like, okay, I'll just get rid of this one. And I tried it and the puppy got all sad. And I was like, nope, never, nope, not doing it. Nope, nope, nope. And so I kept it. Yeah, you could give them up. You could give them up and they would get all sad. And I was like, nope, never again. Never again. I couldn't, like, I legitimately cried that day. <laughs> you made a challenge uh, to get the ghost as fast as possible and it, it got you in 0 0.23 seconds. That sounds about right. Okay, I think... Yeah, it's dro the temperature is dropping in here. So this is probably the ghost's favorite room. Let's try spirit box. Where are you? Is it working? Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Okay, so far nothing with that. All right, uh, any, f oh, we should probably actually put the dots down. There we go. Don't you throw my camera, you freaking monster. Okay, so far. No sign of freezing temps. If it's Agoria, we will not see dots unless we're outside the ghost room looking through a camera. So let's uh, look for dots this way. Let's see. You had one dog that was really good at the talent show with all the obstacles. Oh, I miss I miss playing Nintendo Dogs. I don't actually think I have Nintendo Dogs anymore. Like, I can't find my game. Was the mirror ability? Oh, it will, nah, that could happen. Made a newer version of the for the 3DS that had cats in it. You would get it, but you don't want, don't have the storage space. And from what you understand, the SD cards aren't interchangeable. Interesting. That's unfortunate. Because, yeah, I, I saw there was, like, a, a puppy island-type game uh, for the Switch. And I was like, is that, like, today's Nintendogs? Because uh, if it is, I would buy it. But... <laughs> Let's see, you think you have it somewhere? You just need to find your DS. I was like, yeah, I, I have a bad feeling that I lost my Nintendogs game because, like, I haven't seen it in years, even though I still have my DS. So I, I bet you would think I, I lost it somewhere along the way between, like, moving around for college and all of the fun jazz. Okay. Ghost, I need a second piece of evidence. Where are you? Can you give me a sign? Where are you? Are you stinky? Are you a bum bum? Where are you? Okay, you're a bum bum, I see. Uh, where's my EMF? Wait, what? What window was that? That sounded like it was the one in the bathroom, but I actually think it was the- Yeah, it was just this one. That was weird. The, the audio sounded backwards to me for that, but that's all right. Uh, ooh, we should definitely look for Obake fingerprints. So far, just normal. Okay, let's get this off. Oh, ghosty! Oh, oh. Oh, I was gonna say, oh, okay, but no, it's over here. It touched that one. Okay. Uh, can I get like dots or something? Who, what are you? What are you, sir? So far, no sign of EMF5, just fingies. 
Keep watching. Actually, let's do another uh, scan for ghost orbs in here. So maybe they're hidden behind a door or something. So far, I'm not seeing any. Hmm. Come on, baby. What evidence are you hiding from us? I, I still kind of wish they would make the, the tier 3 dots even quieter. Like, I still think it's pretty loud. Like, yes, they made it better, but like... It should be silent. Why does it make this no- Oh, hi. Okay, well, we have dots and it's not a Gorio because I saw that with my naked eye. <gasps> Please be a banshee. I don't have a paramic, man! No! Guys, we don't have a paramic. Okay, uh, we don't have a photo camera either. Singing ghost event, it's a banshee. I repeat, it's a banshee. Because, yeah, we don't have a way to test uh, for... Banshee or phantom. Both of them can roam to us. Except... Banshee uh, will not roam to me if I'm on a, a on a different floor from it, whereas a phantom will. Um, so you're wrong, TT. Hunt is not the only way. Ha ha! Because the problem is we don't have smudge sticks because we're doing starter items only. So if we do get hunted, there's a high chance that we'll get killed if we can't get away properly. Let's see. And hey, Mouse, it's so good to see you. How have you been? Welcome on in. Can I get a shout out for Mighty Mouse, please? Because guys, if you don't know Mighty Mouse, they're absolutely delightful. Also a streamer. Did I turn that light on? Okay, I wish I had salt or something to see if the ghost roams to me. Cause yeah, we have like nothing. Been okay? I'm glad to hear that. I'm, I'm doing okay. A little bit tired this week just cause it's been a, a rough week with our little puppy cause he's been having some diarrhea issues, but things have been getting better. I finally got a full night of sleep last night, so I'm feeling good. Just YOLO. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. It's fair. I seen, hey, Luke Goblin, welcome on in. How are you doing today? So far, it doesn't feel like it's roaming to me. And we are we did have a singing ghost event. So, like, I'm leaning towards Banshee. I'm definitely leaning towards my Banshee. Let's let's kind of stand here for a second. Because so what we could do... Oh, actually, where's my... What curse possession do we have? Um, Because we could, like, look at the ghost from this way and then try to hide back here. I might die doing that, but it could be a strategy. Unless I have a better hiding spot. Let me see if this, the lockers back here are open. Oh, actually, no, because by the time the ghost would get back into here, it would see me go into the lockers anyway. So that would probably be my best best bet. So if we can just trigger a hunt, that'd be great. Uh, please don't be summoning circle. Okay, good. It's not, because I was going to say, if it's summoning circle, we can't even use it because we don't have a lighter. No tarot cards. But theoret theoretically, wait by uh, one of the end of the... Or, Wait by one of the ends of the dinner tables and wait for it to come downstairs and then run to the kitchen hiding spot. Technically, yes, but if it speeds up too much, we won't be able to get away from it. If we if it sees us go around that corner, we're dead. So like, yes, we could do that, but at the same time, that's also very risky. So I think we're gonna go at the end of the hallway strat. Cause I think that's a little bit safer. Cause then we can see it clearly, but then just boop right here and quickly get away. The lore of this game, apparently, it's Yuli. You only live infinite. It's true. Come here, ghosty. Actually, let's make sure that's off. Okay, so it's a phantom. Please don't find me. You only die lots. Yodel. Yodel a hee hee hoo. Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> I'm, I'm making it so risky. <laughs> I just like to tease it. Oh, it's going away. It's going away. Ah, uh, okay. Bye! Pretty sure that was Phantom Blink. <laughs> uh. Speaking of cursed items, you saw a meme yesterday that was a screenshot of a Christian version of a Ouija board where you could talk to Jesus. You looked on Amazon and it actually exists. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't do it! Okay, uh, so yeah, we can't do any of the side objectives either, or aside from the one we've already done. So let's get out of here. It was like, I barely saw that ghost, so hopefully I looked at it long enough. Because there is just a chance that we didn't look at it for long enough and it, it bamboozled us, but I'm pretty sure we saw it long enough to say it's a phantom for sure. So yeah, there we go. Does indeed exist. Turns out nobody is immune to capitalism. Jesus. Oh, I mean, we look at Christmas. 
you want to talk to Jesus? You wonder if your husband would allow that? Oh my God. I, I feel like that's a good way to like invite some demons into your house. I don't know. And it was right there, right? That was scary. I'm playing with fire. I like fire. Remember yesterday? Actually, I don't know if you were here yesterday, TT, but we were playing with fire. I was a fire breather, so. It was a phantom that sang to me, right? Like it was trying. It was trying to, to, to trick me, but no thank you. No thank you. Let's unpin that message. Hmm. My throat is all funky right now. That's okay. On a roll today. I mean, it's kind of hard to be on a roll when that was our first game, but that's okay. And Astral, welcome on in. It's good to see you. How are you doing today? All right, let's see. What challenge is next? If we get the same challenge twice, we just re-roll. No, please don't. Ah. Ouch. So, we gotta do a 12x. That's gonna be painful. So let's see, what can we, uh, let's make this uh, true zero evidence. That'll be nice. So you're busy at Best Buy getting your laptop checked in to look, uh, to get looked at and fixed so sadly you missed yesterday's stream. And that's okay. Like, it was really good, though. I, I did go and I basically have the video for uh, Graveyard Shift edited. Uh, so I'm hoping, hope I, I cannot talk. Jesus Christ. I'm hoping to have that posted on the, the main YouTube channel uh, either tomorrow or Sunday once I actually record an intro for it. Because holy crap, that was a good game. I highly recommend Graveyard Shift for people that like good horror games. A little janky here and there, but we loved it nonetheless. It was so good. The other game was meh. meh. We don't we don't talk about the other game. <laughs> okay, we have no evidence. Grace period. Uh, let's go. Okay, we have no sanity, so might as well turn off sanity monitor. I'm gonna turn off activity monitor as well. Fuse box. Uh, let's have that. Whoops. Uh, off or broken? Yeah, let's do broken. Oh wait, just turn off a cursed possession. Here we go. No cursed possession. I still have to get it to 12x. Shit. That's not enough. It's not enough. We already have no hiding spots. Okay, let's just make everything terrible then. Um, what else can I change? Turn everything to... Oh, whoops. No, this needs to be high. There we go. Roaming frequency is high. Ghost speed's 150. Grace period. Good, good, good. Okay, that's all as bad as it's going to get. Except... Oh, this one can be low. 11.25. Okay, we're getting close. Um, I might have to turn off sprinting. Or flashlights. I want to be able to see. Flashlights are really important. So let's... What happens if I do, like... Oh, 50... No, I don't want to do 50% speed. Just turn off sprinting. Oh, yeah. Look at that boost. Okay, so no sprinting. But now we can kind of adjust a little bit more. Because um, I do want it to be kind of active. So it's fun. So let's bring ghost event frequency back up. Interaction amount. We can bring that back up. Changing favorite room. Let's bring that down to low... Roaming frequency also bring that down a little bit. 12.65. Okay. Okay. Uh, can I turn on some hiding spots, please? Yes, I can. All the hiding spots. Let's go. <laughs> All right. That, that, that'll, that'll be perfect. 12.20. All right. Let's see. You're no expert, but you're under the impression that there already was an established way of communicating with Jesus. Like... <laughs> But prayer's so last century. Why do prayer when you can invite demons into your household? <laughs> Let's see. Hasbro inserts every demon into their boards personally. Sounds about right. Should all summon demons with Ouija boards together? What does devil do anyway? Uh, we learned this yes yesterday. Devil do fuck. That's the answer. Devil do fuck. Yeah, for bravely running away and hiding. Exactly. Hee 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 hee. Except I can't run, so that's a little bit meh. Okay, this one, uh, yeah, I'm still gonna do random. This is gonna be a disaster. It's gonna be high school. Nope, it's Ridgeview again. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Hey, Ale, welcome on in. Uh, yep, this is the second game. It's going pretty good. We just got a, a phantom correctly. Let's see. Let's do current challenge is a 12x. There you go. So if you want to pin that for me, that'd be great. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right, we got Leslie Halstead. We need to witness ghost event, repel, and crucifix. Okay, that's easy enough. That's easy enough, I guess. So we are normal walking speed. We have all of our equipment, but we have zero sanity, zero evidence. Uh, let's go take in all the smudge sticks. No sprinting. Been on the phone most of the afternoon. No worries, Hallie, no worries. You're, you're good. Hopefully you can be done with the phone call soon, though, and start your weekend. Phone sucks. 
and I stand by that. Let's see, I think that, the breaker was broken too, right? Yeah, no breaker either, so we just have our flashlights. Okay. Can I- I keep trying to sprint and it makes me sad. <gasps> it- all. Oh, we should have done Edgefield or something, because I just realized that we literally got the long, longest walk to the map. So thanks for that game, I appreciate it. Okay, let's take in this in case of ghost orbs, take in some crucifixes, because we want to make sure the ghost does not spawn on top of us, because we have a zero second grace period. Right? That's like, yeah, I realized we literally got the worst map for this, because it just takes forever to go back and forth. Hopefully it's a Ure in the main area and it just closes the front door on me while I'm out here because that would be great. <gasps> Bonus though is that we have the really good hiding spot. So the, the fridge is a wonderful place to hide uh, for challenges like this. As somebody who sells electronics for a living and has to answer a million questions a day about phones, you agree? <laughs> All right, let's take in some salt for a wraith test, uh, some candles for an onrio test. <gasps> oh! It's not gonna give me a speed boost because I don't have sprinting turned on. I'm sad. I'm sad. Sad panda. Um, do I want anything else? <sighs> Thermometer might be useful just to confirm what the ghost's favorite room is if we need it. So yeah, let's go ahead and take that in. RNG did it on purpose. Probably. Oh, and guys, you haven't seen it yet. It's my new uh, Stitch mug. Check this baby out. This is what Chase got me for Christmas. And it's fucking adorable. Eh. To finally replace the the stitch mug that he accidentally broke like a year ago <laughs> it's not so we we tried to get the same stitch glass again after he accidentally broke it but we couldn't find it again so this is the replacement ohana ohana means family family means get the fuck out of my face you dweeb i don't know about you guys but that's how we talk to each other in my family <laughs> uh Okay, I think that's probably all we're really gonna take in. Hey, Server Monk, welcome on in. How are you doing today? Let's see, the one you like you've seen on Etsy is Stitch dressed as the as ghost face with a knife and everything. Oh my god, that sounds so cute. I want that. Oh! Oh! Found it! Okay, so ghost speed is at 150%. So I think that sounds like normal speed. I started my smudge timer as well. You're great, I'm glad to hear that. And send me a screenshot if I wanna see it. Heck yes, do it. I think that's normal speed. I think, I think, I think. Is the hunt over? All right, so it sounded like its favorite room is right there. So let's quickly get a candle. Nope, a candle and a crucifix down so we can do an on Rio test. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Here you go. Have a candle. Let's quickly grab the salt as well. So we can do a wraith test by placing some salt right here. If it steps in that salt next time it hunts, uh, then it's not a wraith. Also take over this. I'm gonna throw down another smudge stick right here as well. Put this down. Okay, it should be good. Fuck, 150% speed. <laughs> right? It's terrifying. Especially with a zero second grace period. But this is what we did on like Wednesday. This was all we did. But the b bonus was we actually had sanity to go off of. All right. So if it eats that crucifix underneath that lit candle, it can't be an onrio. Uh, if it hunts, Before three minutes has passed, it can't be a spirit. <laughs> oh, that scared me. Okay, uh, that was a singing ghost event, so we'll keep that in mind. Hopefully ghost is now in here with me. Please don't kill me. I'd really appreciate it. Oh, I should have a hiding spot right here. Yes, I do. Okay, it just blew out the candle and then ate the crucifix. Okay, that was bad timing. Don't you hurt Bundy. How dare you? That was bad timing. Come on, baby. Try to eat the crucifix again. So I can tell you for sure, though, it is not a spirit. Come on, baby. Eat that crucifix. What? <sighs> rude. <laughs> Actually rude. God, that scared me. What you doing? You're gonna hunt me again? 
Come on, try to hunt me. Worst thing is recognize the little differences of speed. That's like... That's the wrong crucifix to eat, you dumbass. Why would you- why would you do that? How dare you? So, that was outside of range of that candle, so that was not a good on Rio test. Actually, I mean, it still could have been within range. It's just more of, like, if the ghost was, like, over here, we wouldn't know. So, like, it's not an accurate way to tell. Okay, stop that. So now I'm gonna stand here. So the lighters do count for an on Rio as well. So if it eats this crucifix again, uh, while I'm holding a lit lighter right here, it also can't be an on Rio. Come on, baby. Come on, do it! I want you to do it! Hit me with your best shot. No? Well, it's taking a very long time in between attempts, so I want to say it's not a demon. Um... Have a light switch toggle. Enjoy. Excuse me. It's a pretty, pretty chill ghost. <laughs> um... Excuse me. Not an Oni. Oh, we also know it's not a fan. So... Okay, not a non-Rio. There we go. Definitely not a non-Rio. Okay, and we know it's not a Wraith because it stepped in the salt. Uh, it's not throwing a heck ton of stuff during hunts either, so it's probably... <laughs> my soul left my body. My soul left my body there. I need to look for ghost orbs, so we'll do that after the next hunt. Uh, um, ha ba ba da. Ha ba da ba da. Again, it was humming though, so that's interesting. Please don't be a fucking banshee and spawn on top of me, because that would suck. Because we still have banshee on the list and it's done two singing ghost events. It did just eat that crucifix again. Let's see. Turns out it's not an actual mug, but you'll still send it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still want to see it. So we've gotten th three singing ghost events and one air ball. Um, so that's interesting. We've had two full physical manifestation ghost events, though. So it seems unlikely that it's a shade, because shades are less likely to do the full physical manifestation. It's still, it's still possible, but I would say probably not a shade based on that. Is it over? I think it's over. Oh my lord, that, that may, that, that, that. This goes, man, I'm just on. Can we talk about how that's our fourth singing ghost event? We should go get a pair of mic immediately. Because we can get a banshee scream. I don't see any ghost orbs, but we need to go get a pair of mic immediately. Because this might be a banshee. This is very suspicious. Let's see. It's not rotating the head, at least, in the event. Aw, <laughs> uh, but I like the- I like the head twist. It's- it's terrifying. Especially when you're on, like, 150 ghost speed, the moves just get, like, really janky, and it's the best thing ever. Um... Cause yeah, so far, it- it doesn't really feel like it's roaming to me, though. So for the ghost events, a ghost will just teleport to your location for ghost events. It has nothing to do with ghost ability, so any ghost can do that, including Gorios. So the fact that it teleported to us for a ghost event and then started to hunt from that location does not mean that it's roaming around too much. Uh, I need to be careful it can hunt again now. So let's quickly grab... this. So yeah, it's not seeming like it's roaming to me. It... Uh... I take that back. That definitely just started from, like, the kitchen and or foyer area. Interesting. Interesting. There is just a, a chance that was a coincidence, but... It's definitely not a miling. 
Not a Raiju. Okay, we do need to do a yokai test, uh, and I have one more smudge stick. So we can try to do that, but I'm I'm pretty suspicious of Banshee right now. So let's try to get a Banshee scream during this last little bit. I'm gonna take this down. Oh, I'm so I'm so slow. It's ridiculous. Come on, baby. Give me a Banshee scream immediately. Please, 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 please. Come on. What? Oh! Oh! God, that scared me. Okay, that was not a singing... Ghost of- Damn it. Nope. Nope. It's fake. It's fake. That's a Davy. <laughs> Davy, thank you for the 50 bitties. <laughs> oh. Come on. Give me a, a real banshee scream. Haven't gotten a whisper on the paramic yet either. I gotta be careful because it can hunt again in like 10 seconds. Shit. Okay. I'm gonna throw this down here. Let's try to do a yokai test. Oh, it's probably gonna get me killed. Oh god. Okay, it's fine. Okay, should be able to hunt now. Uh, so unfortunately, we have no way to test for a djinn, because uh, the breaker is broken, and without the breaker turned on, the djinn has no abilities. Haven't seen it shapeshift. It's, I don't think it's twins. Okay, here we go. Hello? Okay. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! I'm over here. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. Not a yokai! <laughs> that came straight for us when it started hearing me, so probably not a yokai. Unless we just got severely unlucky. So it did go back to the master bedroom, it sounded like. Uh, so that other time it was either just roaming, or yes, it was in fact roaming to us. Alright, ghosty, come on, give me a give me a whisper. And knocked over my camera, how dare you? How dare you, sir? Come on, baby. Let's do... Okay, that's just normal door touches, so no URA door touches there. Let's do another scan for ghost orbs, just in case. I'm not seeing any, though. I still haven't been able to get a fucking whisper. This sucks. Oh, there's a whisper. Hi! <laughs> Why was that not a banshee scream? Give me a fucking banshee scream, man. I'm stuck. Oh my god, I'm gonna get myself killed because the tripod's there? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, still just a normal door touch. Got like 30, no, probably 20 more seconds before we can hunt again. So I need to be real careful. Come on. Okay. I'm gonna go get in my hiding spot. We're just gonna chill here until the end of the next hunt. <gasps> Solid choice. All right, I don't think it's a shade because it did uh, start a hunt in the same room as us when we were in the kitchen. So not a shade based on that. Probably not the mimics, no ghost orbs. Hey, Demetric, welcome on in. How are you doing today? And happy Friday to you as well. Tripods getting revenge on all the people that called them useless. Dude, I always love tripods. Like, I thought they were great. To just close the door without hunting, right? Like, it was so far away, I couldn't even hear it. Okay, hunt's over. Because technically, it still has not changed favorite rooms. Oh, fuck me. She's in my room, and she's right where the, my hiding spot is. Okay. Okay, that's another singing ghost event, though. Also, not many ways to test for mare. It's true. It is true. So technically, the mare can still do its, its ability, even if the breaker's broken. You just have to, t like, toggle the light switches in its room. But the problem is, is, like, I haven't really had a chance to be in there long enough to... Like, I toggled the light switch and nothing happened. But the fact that it has never blown out lights, even though it's done, like, six or seven ghost events now, I would say not a mare based on that. Could still end up just being a really weird mare. It's entirely possible. 
Uh, we didn't see any shapeshifting, so we'll say not an Obake, but there's a chance we just missed the shapeshifting. It's never done a Yurei ability as far as I can tell, so we're going to say not a Yurei based on that. Again, there's no way to test for Jin with the Breaker broken, so it could just end up being a Jin. But based on the fact that there was one time that it did feel like it kind of was roaming towards us when it started hunting, and it's done a shit ton of singing ghost events. I think we're gonna go with Banshee, but watch it be a Gorio, just because Gorios like to troll me. The revenge is blind as they have no eyes. It's true. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, Mecca, it's good to see you. How have you been? You think it's a gen? That's like, it might be. Like, we'll see. I'm gonna go with Ban- You little bastard. It did not blow out a single light, and it was a mare. I hate mares so much. I hate them. I hate them. That's just rude. Oh, well. We still made 480 bucks. Not bad. Not bad, but that was rude. Like, come on. How many ghost events do we actually get? I'm curious. Actually, that's under game summary. Ghost event. Eight ghost events, and not a single one the lights were blown. That's so mean. That's so mean. I hate it. I hate it. Let's see. And Tomaron, thank you so much for the, the two months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Finally got to get to catch a live again. Well, welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely day. Let's see, you're okay, Mecca. I'm glad to hear that. I'm doing pretty good. I'm annoyed with that mare, though. I mm, There's a reason why Yure's and mares are my least favorite ghosts. I despise them with a burning passion, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and spin our wheel, see what our next challenge is. We're done with that. What? I'm going to be like, God, I don't want to do 12x anymore, and I'm going to get 15x next. Oh. Okay. Okay. We can, we can live with that. We are doing a no sanity challenge now. Um. Yeah, we'll just keep doing random maps, but let's let's uh, change this so we're doing no sanity. We can actually have some evidence turned on, so let's at least have one piece of evidence. Um, and then I want to make sure I have sprinting back on. That'd be great. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go and put number of hiding spots back down to, like, medium. We don't need sanity monitor. I'm going to go ahead and turn on activity monitor. And fuse box would be great as well. And we'll have that start on. Because that doesn't reduce the multiplier by too much. We won't turn on a cursed possession, though. Because we, if we have no sa sanity, we can't really use it unless we force a specific, um... A specific cursed item or just get lucky but either way it just takes your multiplier so i'm just gonna leave that on let's actually go ahead and have two evidence oh that's oh that tanks it by so fucking much okay never mind we'll just do one evidence i don't need two evidence mm -mm. i would like a grace period though thank you thank you and ghost speed we're gonna put that back down to normal yeah let's go with that go ahead and hit actually we don't need to save it Okay, ready on up. Let's make sure I have all my equipment. Perfect. Let's go. For no particular reason, definitely not beans. What's the big goal for the day? Uh, there's no big goal. Uh, it's always uh, the sub goal right here. Uh, if we get five for the day, I eat a bean. Big goal is literally just if anybody feels like donating bits, feel free to. If if not, please don't. Uh, the, that's that's the big goal. <laughs> Uh, have I heard of the update for Faz? I mean, there is no update. They released a roadmap, but that means nothing. Until it's in patch notes, I don't give a shit. <laughs> there, there was no update. Uh, let's see, because yeah, it was just a kind of a reiteration of what we already kind of knew was coming. Except the rework for, um, like, Bleasdale. I actually didn't know that was in the works. We got Sharn Thompson. Let's see, prevent the ghost from hunting with a crucifix, EMF, and witness ghost event. All right. So again, we are uh, on zero sanity, so I'm going to go ahead and take in most of the things we'll need uh, to help ID ghosts before we start smudging. The update is, there is no update! I was like, yeah, so uh, the Christmas event should be ending next week, uh, and there's going to be, I, I believe they said that there's going to be changes to the lighting for that update as well, so that'll be really nice, but... What? Sorry, I'm confused, Mecca. I don't I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just grab this. Uh, but let me see. Let me catch up with chat real fast. Make sure Zach, hey, welcome on in. You almost stuck past me. But I'm doing good. How are you? 
Uh, let me see. And Ale, thank you so much for the lurk. I'll have to eat. Gonna be back soon. I hope it's delicious. Let's see. You're tired from work but couldn't sleep. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, uh, uh, Tiberin. I feel that as well. It's been a rough week for sleeping, to say the least. Delays happen. You feel devs always give overly optimistic dates and then walk them back? That's like, yeah. Absolutely. Like, uh, uh, game developers, they always have, like, Maybe not always. I shouldn't say always. They have good intentions when they release dates, but the problem is, is a lot of times they, they take on too much without really thinking about how much work it's going to take, especially when you're a small indie company. Let's see. Previous roadmaps for Faz. Some had noticed the date said one thing and changed to say another, so devs could claim there was no delay. I mean... I don't think that's what they're doing, if I'm being entirely honest, Mecha. They probably went back and changed it so that people don't think that is the date that it's being released. It's, they're not pulling shenanigans, they're just updating it so it's accurate. <laughs> it's like they have definitely acknowledged the delays. Like, just go check their Twitter feed. Like, they they know, they over-promised, and they've apologized. Like, it's it, they're not trying to pull a fast one on us. They've been very open and honest about why they've had delays. Can't confirm your mod was supposed to be released back in 2017. Oh, <laughs> but you guys are so close to being done. That's so exciting. That's so exciting. And just, okay, let's throw this in. So we do have one evidence turned on. So I'm gonna throw in our evidence gear. Cause yeah, how how goes the the bug testing for that, Olivia? Let's see. And nice side, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely day. I was a little bit delayed on that. Apparently, I did not hear the notification noise go off. <clears throat> Looking forward to Point Hope. Me too. That'll be really, really fun to see once they do get it in. Uh, let's grab candle. Ooh, paramic for a banshee test, of course. It's like, wait, what, what did they say they were gonna change about Grafton? I I know they were uh, talking about changing Bleasdale. What what were they? What are they planning on changing about Grafton? Grafton is perfect the way it is. Don't touch it. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. Welcome back, Zach. You're doing good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, let's go ahead and just take in our smudges now. I think we're good to go. We do have the tier 3 sanity medication, so if I need to use that during a hunt, it will give me a speed boost. Grafton will be more run down. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I miss, apparently missed that in the roadmap uh, announcement, so that's cool. So they're just uh, doing basically like a little overhaul to make it look creepier. So that's cool. Cause yeah, I knew Bleasdale was gonna look more fancy because they, they kind of wanted to make it more like a spooky mansion type vibe and I'm like, yes, that's gonna be so cool. That's gonna be so freaking cool. Both interiors will be vastly different. One will look more like the mansion. Yep, 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 knew that. Uh, let's see. Cause yeah, no, that, that'd be cool. I, I could get behind having Grafton look a little bit spookier. That's totally fine and awesome. I love that for us. See, actually ran into a big crash issue, which may affect a good chunk of players. Got someone on board who's gonna help to get get to the bottom of the problem. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. That's God, that must be so stressful. Uh, I believe in you guys though. You got this. You got this. Can't wait to see it once it's finally ready to go. Alright, Mr. Ghosty. Come hunt me. Oh my god, there's a ghost right there. He's in the, the living room. I repeat. There is a ghost in the living room. Let's go ahead and let him hunt. See what his hunting speed is, because we do have the hiding spot right there. You just hope Horror 2.0 will uh, be some good scares. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I hope so, too, as long as they don't go overboard with it. So, like, I kind of like the fact that Fazo is not too, like, jump scary, because a lot of horror games rely too much on, like, legitimate jump scares. Normal speed. Hi, Granny. Not a phantom. Not an Oni. Not seeing any shape shifting. Go ahead and start the smudge timer. Cause like, I, I want Phasmo to be like, creepier. Not necessarily like, jump scary, you know? Hmm. <sighs> Okay. Let's go ahead and where are my crucifixes? Let's go put these down so we can do an on Rio test. 
Get the can- nope, that's not a candle. Get this candle. I'm gonna put this right here. I might want to go get- ah, I should have brought in two candles, honestly, but that's okay. Just turned off the breaker. So, I mean, I knew it wasn't a gym because it didn't have a speed up, but that's okay. More confirmation. Also, the breaker is right beside me, so that's cool. Any ghost orbs? So far, no ghost orbs. Let's go ahead and quickly throw this down. So we do have one evidence, but we have no sandy, so I gotta be careful. Gotta be real careful. Let's quickly get my other... Where's my other crucifix? Where is it? Please tell me I brought in both crucifixes. Excuse me. Oh, shit. That's not good. That's not good. Demon? Actually? Because that was not a minute and a half. That was a hundred percent not a minute and a half. I wasn't even close. That was like right after a minute had passed. So I think we got ourselves a demon or a mimic, but I did not see ghost orbs. So unless uh, we don't have the ghost favorite room. Uh, let me hang on. Link it in the Discord. That's like, yeah, Olivia, if you if you want to share your stuff in the Discord, feel free to. Absolutely. Because I, I, I know I want to see it. I know I want to share it with the community. So yeah, go go ahead and post that. Uh, let me catch up with chat real fast. Uh, don't get you wrong, you do like Faz and you enjoy playing it, but the spook factor wears off pretty quick after about two to three rounds. Mm, I would say that that that's not super common. Mecca, so that, that's probably pretty unique to you, because I know a lot of people, like for me personally, I had maybe like 50 to 100 hours in the game before I stopped getting like legitimately scared by it. And I know a lot of people kind of have that, a similar experience. So I would say it, it doesn't wear off that quickly for, for most people. If it did wear off that quickly for you, that's, that is unfortunate. But here's the thing, the strong suit of Phasmo is not that it's scary, it's that it's really good puzzle game. Like, that's why I love Phasmo more than any other ghost hunting game, because the replay replayability is so much stronger than, like, any other game, uh, because of how much they've just put all of the attention into, like, fleshing out the ghost abilities, making it so that you can play on modes where there's no evidence, and it's just so much fun figuring out the ghosts. So, like, I don't even play this because I think it's a horror game anymore. I play it because I like the puzzle behind it. So, like, I, I, I hope they do make it spookier, but I don't want them to change the overall vibe of the game, if that makes sense. Let me see. And maybe! It's so good to see you! Thank you so much for the 17 months! Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you doing? Right? Time flies. You feel like you just shared 16 months? God. See, so legit got jump scared like a week ago and you're at like 280 hours. I was like, yeah, I still get startled. Like you saw me in the last game where that ghost definitely spooked me because it spawned right in front of me and I was not expecting it. Well, that was quite the little yeet there. I think it actually, I, I think it threw the ghost writing book. So if we have ghost writing... We would actually be able to check that. Yeah. yeah, let's go check it. Let's go check it. See, is Grafton considered medium or small? Grafton is small. Uh, yes. Posted both mods in the games channel. Yay! I can't wait to check Hello. them out. I cannot wait to see them. Because I definitely know I want to... I Because, like, I miss playing uh, Amnesia so much. Like, it's such a good game. Hello. All right. Hunt me, ghost. Get a breaker on. There we go. So I know you're still throwing things in here. What concerns me is, if it is a demon, why did it not eat my crucifixes? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Because a demon does have an extended range in which it eats crucifixes. So I thought it was odd, but I wonder where where did it start hunting from that last time? Must have been holy, roaming. Holy. Let's see, Bleasdale. Holy, I holy. think Bleasdale is considered small as well, even though I disagree with that. I, I kind of think that one's big enough that it should maybe be a medium map, but it, it's, it's, it's like right in between. Yep, you're just doing that repeatedly. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, what else do I need to do? Because yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just a cruci- or a, a crucifix. It's a crucifix! It's just a demon. Uh, but there we go. There's my EMFs. We got all side objectives. So we can do an ultimate demon test. If it still eats this crucifix over here, it's definitely a demon. 
Because I, I don't see any ghost orbs, so I really don't think it's a mimic. Hey, look at that! Demon. Hey, Chrissy! Welcome on in. Happy Friday. How are you doing today? So yeah, I don't think it's a mimic. Let's get out of here. Uh, but let me see. What do you feel? A few other ghost hunting, uh, ghost hunting games are Faz clones. Demonologists interested you, but when you saw actual gameplay, you were put off at the time due to the lack of levels and the cost of items. That's fair. I agree with that. Like, Demonologist is rough on new players. But sadly, you rarely see any Twitch streamers in your followers play it much anymore. Well, to be honest, that's because Demonologist is pretty on the surface, but, like, the ghost abilities are terrible. Like, they literally took like almost every single ghost ability that is in phasmo and just gave it to like different ghosts and like swapped them around but then didn't actually make the ghost act differently like that was my biggest problem with demonologists is that the ghost didn't feel unique in any way shape or form okay you better be a demon if you're not yeah that's right that's right mimic mimicking him <laughs> demon that would be so funny uh let's see because yeah I, and i know like a lot of uh, content creators were very put off by demonologists because like even the official content creators did not get a heads up that the game had, was planning on going to, to full release. And so they, they dropped that out of the blue without telling their official content creators. And it was just like a whole, a whole shit show. So like the entire community was just kind of like, oh, okay. And then we all kind of quit playing it. So let me see. Amnesia is great. That game legit spooks the shit out of you. Yes, Amnesia is so good. And Grave Moose, it's so good to see you. Happy Friday to you as well. Can't believe you missed an entire hour of stream. Somehow today's just been a blur, to be honest. Not doing fantastic. I'm sorry to hear that, Chrissy. I'm sending you all the love and all the hugs. You know we're here for you. I'm doing okay. And the ghosties have been pretty good. We haven't we haven't died yet, right? And we've gotten all ghosts right. So yeah, we're, we're doing good today. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. We had a mare that did not act like a mare. We got that one wrong, but, you know, stupid mares, right? So you notice a lot of what goes on in the game happens in the very same spot. So it's very much, or so it pretty much gets predictable. Yeah, it's very, very true. Like it, on the surface, it was very, very pretty. It was fun to play for like 10 hours. And then I got bored with it because I was like, ju random jump scare is going to happen now. And like, yeah. So it was kind of unfortunate because like it was so pretty on the surface. Like it looks great. It looks great. Mare's going to mare, sadly. It's true. Like that was so annoying. Eight ghost events and it didn't blow a single light. That was so rude. All right, well, let's see what our next challenge is. Ooh, okay, we got backwards only. Let's go. So let me go ahead and change my key binds real fast. Controls, forward movement uh, is now going to be zero so that I can't move forward. I can still move, like, sideways just because otherwise movement gets too janky, especially if I'm trying to crouch. I immediately tried to walk forward. Okay, we're doing, we're doing great. Let's see. Oh, and thank you for pinning that, Hallie. I appreciate it. All right. Random map. Let's go. Oh, wait. I actually need to re-roll. I just realized I did not change my multiplier. I do not want to do zero sanity with this. Can you imagine zero sanity backwards only? Screw it. We're doing it. I, I say that, and then I'm like, actually, I want to try. I'm going to die so quickly, but I'm doing it. I'm going to do it. Sunny Meadow is restricted. Let's go see if we can find our ghost real quickly. And see, and hey, Mama Lees, I'm doing okay. How are you today? Graphically beautiful, mechanic-wise, ran like a Ford uh, firing on one cylinder. I, I kind of agree, Mecca. Like, it, has, it, it did have promise, but... Eh. I can't open the goddamn door. Here we go. All right, zero sanity, backwards only. I'm probably going to die immediately. I need to find a hiding spot ASAP. Eh. Yes! I got a hiding spot. I hear nothing. Damn it. Wait. I think I heard a throw. Ghost? Hey, I'm over here. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Woo. That noise scared me. Where the hell are you? Oh, the hunt just ended. Okay. Woo, what the? 
Excuse me? Hold up, hold up. What is this? Captain LMG, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much, that's so generous, holy hell. Let me get out of here, I owe you guys a bean immediately. Eh, I can't open the door. I can't open the goddamn door. Okay, okay, thank you so much, Captain. Like, thank you, holy hell, it's so generous. Uh, to anyone who got gifted a sub, be sure to thank your gifter if you are in chat. Uh, that's not a bean. That's not a bean. Because, yeah, look at that daily sub goal. We hit that five, no problem. Jeez Louise. I hope you're having a lovely day, uh, Captain LMG. Now we got keyboard cat, too. What is this one? Looks like we have either stinky socks or tutti frutti. I'm rooting for tutti frutti. Even though tutti frutti is not my favorite either, but... It's a tutti frutti. Let's go. It's a good Friday. It's a good Friday. Okay. Now, where the hell was that ghost? Oh, no, Mecca. No, no, no. I don't think you're hating on the game. Like, I, honestly, I feel like a lot of people gave uh, Demonologist a little bit too much credit. So, like, I, I fully think people have the absolute right to kind of critique games that didn't pan out the way we thought they would. So, like, I don't think you're hating on them at all. You're good. You're good. Where the hell is this ghost? So this way's blocked. Are you downstairs? Oh, it must be downstairs. Yeah, it totally is. Hey, I'm over here. Can you come here, please? Excuse me. Hi. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot that I couldn't run forward, so I almost died there. Okay. Um, I think that sounded normal speed. Maybe a little slow? I wasn't paying enough attention. But, so you had slash have the demo of it, tried it, it couldn't do anything as you needed a team, if you remember correctly, but none of your friends had the demo. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ew. Okay, I need to... Oh, God, this is hard. I don't... Eh. <sighs> I don't like walking backwards. I need to go get another smudge stick. Meow. <laughs> I mentioned earlier, you know, someone who even dropped out of their content creator program after they did that. I was like, yeah, they they kind of screw their content creators over. And it was it was kind of rude, but at the same time, like I'm sure they had their reasons. They just they were not transparent about it, so we don't we don't really know what happened there. And to be fair, to them they are still releasing content for it, so there is that. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened there. All I know is that I I, can't, I couldn't get over how similar the ghost abilities were to the ghost abilities in Phasma. Like, that was the thing I was like, dude, I can't forgive this. This is, this is too similar for my liking. Like, literally, you look at it, Mare is a Shade and Shade is a Mare. They literally just took the abilities from Phasma and swapped them. Like, it, it was just odd. Eh. Okay, Ghosty was somewhere down here. Can I please eh, open the door? Okay, here we go. I, I'm curious if it's that room or if it's down one of the wings. It sounded pretty close when it started. Yeah, I think it's this room right here. Yeah, sounds normal speed. Hi there. Get smudged. Oh, shit. My headlamp's still on. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Sorry if you missed anything whack. Your internet decided to shit and fart everywhere. <laughs> Yo, but lost like two minutes of conversation. No, I'm sorry to hear that, Peaches, but no worries. No worries at all. You didn't miss too much. It's definitely not a spirit. It's definitely normal speed. It's not a phantom. Doesn't look like Oni Blink either. So let's go ahead and rule out all these guys. Uh, actually, oh, let me get out of here first. I need to go and actually put some equipment down. Because we do have one evidence uh, turned on. I just, I, I don't have enough time to do this. This is a terrible decision. I should not have done this. I haven't seen much demonologist personally, but what you have seen hasn't made you want to try it. It's like, I, I, like, it looked beautiful. Like, that was the thing. The, their strong suit was like, their atmosphere was top tier. Like, walking into a map for the first time was insanely scary. But the problem was, is they relied on jump scares that were dependent on the environment and not the ghost itself. So then you would get desensitized to it very quickly. 
they still have some really cool elements. Like, if they had just kind of focused more on uh, those elements and, like, made their game a little bit more unique, it would it would be fantastic. Like, it still has promise, but they all they ha really do is keep adding new maps with, like, the same jump scares on them, and it's like, okay, all right, I need more than that. Uh, what else? Oh, I'm carrying a lighter. I guess that's kind of important. I do need a lighter. Let's go in, go into that hiding spot, wait until the next hunt ends, and then we can throw things down. I'm going the wrong way. And that's being a bit uh, twitchy too, to be honest. Either that or it's just Twitch being twitchy. Could be either one at this point. Who knows? Eh. Repetitive jump scare games are definitely not, not your bag. Yeah. See, that's, that's me too. Like, where it was... Oh, dear. It was fun for, like... 10 to 20 hours, and then I was like, okay, what's next? Dude, where the hell am I? Not where I think I was. Okay. I'm going back this way. <laughs> I want to be in this corner right here. There we go. Let's see. Welcome back, Ale. What happened? Um, well, let's see. I accidentally loaded into Sunny Meadows Restricted to do a backwards only challenge, not realizing I'm still playing on Zero Sanity, and that's where we're at. <laughs> I think it's Twitch. Many streams you've been watching the last month have been very laggy or constantly stuttering or buffering. Oh, that's so annoying, Mecca. I'm sorry to hear you're dealing with that. Backwards in sunny meadows. Yeah. Is it over? Yeah. Okay, it's over. Go, 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 go. Wait, where'd the camera go? Shit. Shit. Oh! Biddies, Jesus Christ, that scared me. Okay, okay, hunt just ended. Go back, go, 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 go. Jesus Christ. I just need to get equipment down because I'm pretty sure it's just a normal speed go. So we, we need some kind of uh, evidence to help us narrow it down. Where did my tripod go? There it is. It's floating. Grab it. Grab it. And this is how we die, right? You're not wrong, Jazzy. You are not wrong. Drop it! Run! Get in the hiding spot? Nice. Nailed it. Your goal is to scare me as much as possible. Jeez <laughs> uh... Louise, that was just... Do I have my game audio all the way up? So that was like, that was so much louder than the game audio for me. I don't know if it was for you guys or not. Let me see. Where's my... Which one is that coming through? It was very loud. That's like, yeah, no, that one scared the living crap out of me. I don't think that audio was balanced properly. <laughs> uh, hang on, let me fix it. So I think all the other sound alerts have been coming in. All right. So let me just dial down the specific audio for that one. I'm dying. Okay. All right. That one should be hopefully better if it gets played again. Uh, if you play fast in VR, then you, it would likely scare the shit out of you. But thank God you don't have a VR headset yet. I was like, yeah, I've played... Phasm on VR like twice and every time I've gotten motion sick. I can play literally any other game in VR and be fine, but for some reason Phasmo just kills me every time I try to play it. Eh. Okay, I need to get crucifixes down as well. Hi! What the hell was that? Place it properly and run. Okay, it's throwing a bit. Let's go get try to get some crucifixes in. I have failed. Eh, there we go. I think this is the first time... This is the first time I've played backwards only on this map. This is hard. Woo! I'm stuck in a door! Oh, shit! Ooh! Let's go! I didn't think I was gonna get there. Let's see, your internet just went out on your phone. Now... 
Oh, hope you're back. Oh, no. So many people are having either internet and or Twitch problems. This sucks. Okay. Think it's over. Do I have sanity restoration? I do not. It is currently zero sanity. <laughs> it was a terrible decision, but you know what? We're gonna do it. Of course I get a fucking no normal speed ghost though. Like let's, what can we talk about my luck here? Do we rule out shade? That's like, um, to be completely honest, I, I usually don't really rule out shade if it's throwing stuff in the same room as me, just because I've had that bug a lot. Uh, and sometimes the ghost could have been outside of the room and still interacted with it. So, like, I'm very hesitant to rule out shade unless I know for certain that the ghost was, like, actually in the room. So, like, if I have motion sensors down or salt down and we know it just stepped through those, then I would probably rule out shade. But because we didn't have any of that set up, I'm not going to rule it out just yet. Just in case either it's bugging or the ghost was, in fact, technically outside the room as with us. Um, but we definitely- I'm gonna try and get some crucifixes down. Let's, oh, let's try putting down salt, uh, so we can do an immediate wraith test as well. You do this week's challenge in Phasma, you haven't done it yet? Oh, yeah, you should get that done, Zach, because that, that, this one's a nice, easy $5,000 one. Okay, let's wait until the, the hunt's over again. Wish I could hear the ghost a little bit better. Okay, touching doors. So I just want to make sure that as soon as the hunt ends, I'm ready to go. So I'm just gonna keep trying to toggle this light switch. Hopefully it doesn't come back over here. Okay, hunt's over. Oh, it turned off the breaker too, so it's not a gin. I think it, I probably already knew that because uh, it didn't get faster in line of sight of us, but that's okay. More confirmation that it's not a djinn. Gotta go, 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 though. We have 25 seconds in between hunts, unless it's a demon. I don't think it feels like it's being aggressive enough to be a demon. I should be very... Oh my god, come on, get closer. Put it... Yes! Run! Wait, put the crucifix down, man. Woo! No! No! I'm so dead! I'm so fucking dead! No! <laughs> Definitely not a demon if it didn't eat my crucifix. That was so rude. <laughs> Alright, who do we think it was? I'm gonna say Gorio. I have no idea. We didn't have enough information. I, 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 I got cocky. I got cocky. I should not have tried to put the crucifixes down until after the next hunt. Wait, it was a myling? Really? Uh, I guess I never really did a myling test while we were on the same floor, is it? Because every time I was listening to it, it was, it was on the, the downstairs area. So, okay. All right. Rest in pepperoni, right? <laughs> uh... Like, I, I was hearing it so often that I just assumed it wasn't a myling. It was probably just, like, closer to us than I thought it was. So that's unfortunate. Oh, well. Let's not do that again. That was awful. That was awful. Let's let's continue doing backwards only, but we're not doing zero sanity. <laughs> let's just put it on a nice classic professional. Let's go. Random map. Let's do this. Actually, professional's gonna be too easy, isn't it? Nah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I see. And Dracula, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely day. We're ordering soaps and shampoos and missed it. Aw, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it's like, let's put this poor woman out of her misery, right? I see. You had a great laugh and fast the other night with friends. You put a camera down, not looking uh, what was around you, and the dark movement caught your eye. You turned and saw the camera bobbing up and down. What? You... Put the camera on top of a snowman? You can do that? Oh, that's so funny. Oh my god. I want to do that. Okay. Let's go and find ourselves a ghosty. Oh, wait. Let's uh, actually read this first. Let's see. We got Shannon Maudsley. We need to repel it. Okay. Capture photo and get average standing below 25%. Okay. Eh. How Sixteen hundred hours in this game. 
Um, and I just tried to push the van doors open like it was a normal ass door. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> Doing great. The Friday brain is hitting strong. Oh uh, man, if it's normal professional, it means I have to actually go find the breaker. Crap. Okay. Uh, where's the door? Nyom. Eh. That's your streamer. That's me. <laughs> let's see, and Kimly, welcome on in. It's good to see you. How are you doing today? Uh, let's see. Can I get a shout out for Kim, please? Because if you guys don't know Kimly, absolutely delightful streamer as well. Okay, we do have a hiding spot right right there. Eh. So far, I'm not hearing any interactions. Let's see. Thank you, Sammy. Uh, I'm stuck behind a door. Screw this nonsense. Excuse me. Hello, I am looking for ghost. Can ghost show sign? Eh. Eh. God, it's so annoying to try to open these doors. Uh, do I have a cursed possession in here? No haunted mirror, no voodoo doo. No voodoo doo doo. No tarot cards. Let's see, you're doing so well. Been listening as you do some schoolwork. Oh, I hope it's going well. I'm doing pretty good. It makes me feel any better about the van door. You almost just tried to give the shout out. You haven't been a mod in over a year. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Like I said, Friday brain is hitting hard, all right? Wait, I see my breath up here? Hold up, hold up. Hallway or bathroom? Because the breaker is on, so if I'm seeing my breath, that's actually probably significant. So yeah, this might be the ghost room. It is not doing shit. Are you a shade, sir? Earth to ghosty? Or is it just taking a long time for this room to warm up? These are the questions we must ask ourselves. No voodoo doo doo. Only devil may do. Yeah, okay, the breath is still showing here, so I think this is probably the ghost room, but it's literally doing shit, so you know, immediately, hey, hey now, you're a shady. The house isn't haunted, the heater's just broken, that's all. Eh. These are the answers that need questions. <laughs> What the devil do? What do devil do? Devil do fuck. I tell you, that game's gonna be iconic. We're gonna quote that so many times. It's right up there with Toilet Man. <laughs> Don't look that up! Exactly. <laughs> Let's see. You got up earlier to take your dinner plate to the kitchen. You ended up taking it to the bathroom instead. No! Ooh! Probably EMF 5. Look at that. So if you see four or five spikes when you are not in the map and... And, uh... None of your teammates are on the map if you're playing on multiplayer. A lot of the time, it could potentially mean you have an EMF 5 ghost. Not always guaranteed, but if we see a lot of 4 and 5 spikes, it'll most likely be an EMF 5 ghost. We do have all evidence turned on, so let's go ahead and look for, uh, some shit. And that does check out with the shade. Let's check for freezing temps. Should you bake a pie at 11.30 p.m.? Yes, absolutely. What kind of pie, though, is the question. Toilet man lingers in the darkness. I'm the toilet man. God, I love Fears to Fathom games. They're so good. Oh, hi. Singing ghost to... I feel like we're really high sanity for a shade to have done a ghost event, so not a shade, actually. Because at 100% sanity, the shade has a 0% chance of uh, successfully completing a ghost event that it attempts uh, until you reach 50% sanity, at which point it has a 100% chance of successfully completing a ghost event. So if we're, if we're still above 90% sanity, I don't think this is going to be a shade. Yeah, that's very, very unlikely to be a shade, actually. So I'm gonna rule that out. Yeah. Yeah. Any time is good for pie? Exactly. What the hell is basic biscuit pie? What? 
Because <laughs> uh, as far as I know, most most pies have a flavor like cherry pie and apple pie. What is basic biscuit pie? What is that? Is that just like you're making pie crust? <laughs> Which no, no shame, no shame. Biscuits are butter flavored. A bisque. So, oh, this is actually a hot topic, I think, because a lot of people call biscuits different things across the world. I actually did not really realize this. So, what when I say a biscuit, I think of those little um, round, flaky kind of things, like. They're about, like, yay big. I can't remember, uh, what what are they, somewhere in the southern part of America, I heard people refer to those as scones. And I'm like, no, 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 that's not right. That's not a biscuit. That's not a biscuit. So yeah, people, ooh. What the heck are you? What the heck are you? That is a seven spike. Maybe not EMF five. Maybe just poltergeist, or a bugged ghost event. Interesting. Okay, maybe maybe twins as well. If it doubled up on interactions, that that's suspicious. That's very very sussy. Let's see. You think it's uh more more of a cake? Okay okay okay. Cake is good too. I fully support cake. I actually like cake more than I like pie. So, I can get behind that. Interesting, interesting though. Let's see if we have some ghost orbs. God, not walking forward is so stressful. Is this not in the bathroom yet? It is not. It is fully in the hallway. Okay, solid. In Britain, they say they are scone-like. Mm -mm. Nope, they're not scones. I stand by it. A scone is that thing that's like deep fried and it's all like lumpy and delicious. I don't, I don't, I'm curious what people call, what I call scones in other places. Fry bread? I think, I think fry bread is what people call what I call scones. Yeah? Biscuits are fluffy, tasty little breakfast things that you can pour a sausage gravy on and devour. Exactly. Is he all in favor of replacing basic... Basic bitches with basic basic biscuits? Let's do it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um so for me, biscuits are butter cookies. You call those things cookies? That's not a cookie. <laughs> Cause it has layers in it. Cookies don't have layers. Onions have layers. So do ogres. Let's see, yeah, there's not a scone here. Scones are, uh, you bake in an oven, cut down the middle, and put jam on. Nah. That's a biscuit. <laughs> uh, a layered cookie would be good, though. Fair. That is a fair point. And that is a fair point. I just, I love the whole debate about, like, what people call biscuits and, uh, scones. Because, like, there's no right or wrong answer. And it's so fascinating just to see how it varies across the world. Eh. See, I think, I think I'm in the minority of calling fried bread scones. I don't think that one's too common. Uh, that was definitely how it was where I grew up. And we had this thing called, um... What was it called? Indian tacos, where it was literally fry bread with like chili stuff on top and like taco meat and uh, cheese. And it was delicious, but apparently that's not too common either. Navajo tacos, that's right. That's what they were called. Yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't remember because that, that's a that's a, a local delicacy from where I live. <laughs> uh, but I don't think that one's too common either. Anywho, um, it can't be a poltergeist, it can't be twins. I have questions. Can we all agree that pineapples on pizza is good and decent? I'm sorry, Pink Wolf, I'm going to have to ban you for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but no, we cannot agree on that. Um, just no. Get out of here. <laughs> I, I I don't like pan up, pan up on pizza. Ban you too. Does everybody want to get banned? Ban everyone in chat. <laughs> Everyone's just like, 
Ban me, I will die on this hill. <laughs> That's okay. You guys are allowed to like what you like. It's fine. It's fine. It's all right. Yes, you're getting banned too. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, but I can definitely tell you it's not, or it shouldn't be able to be an Oni. Because we, we were at 88% uh, sanity. We got hit by a ghost event and it only dropped us by 10% sanity. And Oni would have dropped it by 20% sanity if things are not bugged. So there's that. Pineapple on pizza all the way. No mango. Bad mango. Swinging the ban hammer. <laughs> uh, your husband loves Hawaiian pizza, but it must be bacon, not ham. Mm, I, I think I'm okay with ham on pizza. It's not my favorite. I would rather have pineapple. Or uh, sorry, not pineapple. Shit. I would rather have bacon than ham as well. But I can I can live with the ham on it. Um. Okay. So everything is wrong about everything we said. Oh, it also can't be a Gorio because I saw the dots uh, off of a camera. Where are even my dots? There they are. I, this is a terrible placement, apparently. Yeah, this is horrible. That's okay. Buffalo chicken is the best it's pizza. Oh, ooh, I do like a good buffalo chicken pizza. That is good. That is good. Let's see, you're from New York, so buffalo chicken is your favorite. Good choice. Good choice. You're fine with bacon sub. I love bacon. So weird story about me from my childhood. Uh, I ha I um, <laughs> my friends used to call me bacon because of how much I liked it. So like in one of my grade school classes, we all went around and were like, we're going to have our nicknames be our favorite candy. And I was like, OK, candy's great and all. But have you had bacon? And so I went by bacon. Everyone else was like Butterfingers and like Twix, I don't remember what the other ones were, but I was I was bacon because I like bacon. <laughs> bacon is bug. Mushrooms and anchovies do not belong on pizza. Wrong, Mecca. I'm so wrong. You're so wrong. I like mushrooms on pizza. I could do without anchovies though. I'm not a fan of anchovies. I think you were Reese's or something? Yeah. See, I was trying to remember what you were. I was like, oh, I don't, I don't think I remember though. I, all I remembered was Butterfingers. I got, I got nothing. Um, I don't see any ghost orbs, though. All right, let's look at our options here. So, yeah, if uh, the thing is, we saw a seven spike. So that's really weird, because even EMF five will not be able to show up as a seven spike. So I don't know what happened. I'm going to assume it was some kind of bug, unless... I'm trying to think, are there any of these ghosts that can do something weird like that? I don't think so. So, yeah, that was probably a bug. Uh, there's another five spike though, so I I want to say it is in fact EMF five. Look at that five spike. Uh, if I can confirm that in the map though, that would be preferable. Uh, but wraith is still a possibility, so let's take in salt. Banshee is not a possibility. Damn it, damn you, damn you all to heck. Let's look for ultraviolet as well. All right, yeah, let's just go in and do that. Bans himself. From the stream for all this anti-pizza hate. Hey, no one said anything about anti-pizza. Fuck that nonsense. No, we love pizza. We just like to, you know, have healthy debates about what belongs on said pizza. Erm. You hate olives, so that's a no for you. Oh, olives are my favorite. I I literally just get pizzas with just olives on them. Like that's one of my favorites. <laughs> so I will I will take all of your olives for you. Eh. Dino nuggies and ketchup on pizza. Oh, okay, Mango, you've taken it too far. You've you've taken it too far. <laughs> All right, just EMF three. Let's try Spirit Box. Where are you? Oh, EMF five, right there. There it is. Confirmed EMF five. Uh, where are you? From behind. Okay. So I have this salt. Um, I don't think I should use it. <laughs> it's a wraith. Uh, you ate the gingerbread gingerbread man's leg and made him form a band called Limp Biscuit. <laughs> Not my gumdrop buttons. Let's see, you've never tried green olives? Oh. Oh, I love green olives. They taste very, very different from black olives. I would not want green olives on pizza, though. I will say that. I will say it. It's a very, very different flavor. 
Let's see, you take the cheese off of your pizza because when you were younger, your sister would eat the cheese and you still take the cheese off to this day even though you don't have the cheese? So, you just have bread with marinara sauce on it? <laughs> you also dip it in ketchup! No! <laughs> Help! Help! No! I can't, I can't, that's too much tomato flavor. I can't do it. So, like, I am not a large tomato person. So, like, having, like, marinara sauce combined with ketchup is just, no. My stomach would explode. I can't do it. Okay, what do we need to do? Repel, capture photo, rude. Okay. Let's try to get a photo of this ghost, I guess, and then we'll get haunted. Uh, help. Send help immediately. It's gonna spawn on top of me because it's a wraith. Lots of interesting chat lore coming out today. <laughs> Don't dip pizza in chocolate milk. No. 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 Don't- The only thing pizza should be dipped in is, like... Nothing. I actually have never dipped my pizza in anything. I think I like my pizza without dipping sauces, I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stick by that. To be fair, though, I haven't tried it. I know a lot of people dip it in ranch, uh, but I'm, I'm not a large fan of ranch, so I probably wouldn't like that. Uh, what's our cursed possession, though? Dip it in more marinara sauce? Because, <laughs> like, I'm the type of person, like, the less marinara sauce on my pizza, the better. I I just like cheese bread. Actually, fun fun plot twist. Yeah, I just want cheese bread. I say I want pizza, but no. Just give me the bread and the cheese. That's what I want. Pizza should not be dipped. <laughs> Let's see, I'll dip your buffalo chicken in ranch or blue cheese. Yeah, I've never had blue cheese either. Wonder if I'd like that. I do like ranch more than I used to though, so maybe I should try it again. Cause like I used to hate ranch, but now I'm like, I'm 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 okay with it. And I do I really like uh dipping um Carrots. Carrots and ranch is, like, one of my favorite uh, snacks nowadays. So, like, I, I might be able to get behind dipping pizza in ranch now. I'm not sure, though. Want marinara sauce on pizza? Just eat a marinara then? <laughs> no. <it's> so gross. <gasps> Garlic sauce is amazing. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, that sounds good. I do like garlic sauce. I, I I have I've used garlic sauce to, like, dip in, um, or use for, uh, like, breadstick dip. That's always been really good. I've never used it on my pizza before, though. Uh, do I have a hiding spot anywhere? Yes, we have this hiding spot right here. I need a camera, though, because we, we need another ghost event so I can actually get a ghost photo. I was hoping my cursed possession was going to help with a ghost photo, but it did not. You hate blue cheese? Yeah, I've never tried it. It just makes me think of the movie Snow Dogs. If you know, you know. Let's see, you used to have to make blue cheese dressing at the pizzer pizzeria you worked at. Should always so smelled so weird, you hated it. That sounds about right. Hey, ghost, can I get a ghost photo? Hey, can you give me a sign? Where are you? You actual bitch of a ghost. How dare you do the... Fuck. I missed it! <gasps> no, I didn't! Three-star ghost photo! Let's go! <laughs> Who needs a ghost event when you have dots? I thought I was a split second too late, but we got it. We got it, baby. Now I just need to escape during a hunt, and we're good to go. Garlic bread and blue cheese sauce. Mm. I'll have to try it one day. Like I said, I need to try blue cheese. Hide and seek. It's gonna spawn on top of me, and I know it, but that's fine. I just need to actually run the right direction. Let me turn my headset off. BRB grabbing pizza from the fridge. Let's go! Only blue cheese thing you like is the boneless buffalo chicken bites that Domino's has. Oh, I've never tried those. Hi. It's Smudge Nerd. Okay, I'm leaving. Meow. Okay. You haven't seen Snow Dogs? Oh, you should see it, Zach. It's an amazing movie. If you like dogs, you will love it. Like, it's so good. This convo just reminded you that you had some stuffed green olives in the cupboard. Open those up and now you're just eating them straight out of the bowl. Yay! I love doing that. I'm weird. It's so good though. Blue cheese bacon burgers or pog. Oh, that sounds really good. Think you want to bake a, a condensed milk cake? Ooh, I get behind that. Like I said, give me some cake. I'd go for it. All right, so we got all objectives. 
Eh. Can we get out of here alive? We were watching a video on the updates to come and it said that they're going to give us the ability to delete photos eventually. Yeah, I saw that. It's gonna be great. Try to decide, uh, do I wanna try to get a perfect game? Cause I do still have insanity pills. Are we gonna just go take a candle up and let the ghost repeatedly blow it out? I'm gonna do it. Cause then we can just get photos off of that. We can't get photos off of salt, unfortunately, cause it is a wraith, but let's just take this up and go cheese it. I also love eating green olives with nothing else. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Like, uh, so Chasa is definitely in the boat of like, he doesn't like olives too much. So we're the complete opposite where I'm over in the corner just eating olives straight out of a can and he's like, gross. You have yet to eat all, eat an olive you, that you don't like. You love all olives, same peaches. Like legitimately, I have every single kind I've tried, I've enjoyed. Eh. It's so good. Okay, here, have that. Uh, where's my camera? There it is. Let's see if we can get some interactions too. Hello! I just gotta make sure I'm actually close enough to this to, to get the photo, otherwise I'll cry. Hey, can you, can you give me a sign? You like black olives like that too, especially stuffed ones? Yeah. So your mom and you used to go to a local salad bar and just get a container full of their olives. Olives are deaf solid. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Most people like olives. It's okay if you don't though, because that just means there's more olives in the world for those of us that are obsessed with them. Like poor Chase. Poor Chase. He doesn't like olives and I'm like, I will never let you get a pizza without olives on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh... Your mom likes to eat olives with Lay's. Interesting. Hi there, ghosty. I don't know if I would like that. Oh no, I have to get average sanity below 25%. I did not realize I still had to do that. Shit. Also, we need to find the bone if we want a perfect game. This has been a terrible d mistake. Do so you love any green olives, especially stuffed with garlic or other ingredients, but black olives are not your favorite? And that's fair, because like those ones, they're not very flavorful. So like just by themselves, they're not my favorite. I definitely prefer them with things, but I think like they add just enough different flavor to just kind of add to other items. And also, Judas, welcome on in. That's not how you use a lighter. That's how you fat finger something. Nice. Kind of makes sense if they added it, as people could see it as a money-making glitch. Yeah, that's fair. I agree with that. Do we ever do that thing with him that we used to do where we get pizzas with half olives? Nah, we usually just like concede and get a full pizza high. A full pizza of just everything together. Just cause like he doesn't love them, but he doesn't hate them either. So it's just easier to get the full pizza. Okay, I need, I need more photos. Oh, I can take a picture of the Ouija board though. Can you do another interaction? I'm gonna stand in the dark, so hopefully this will increase that activity and drop my sanity a little bit faster. Have I gotten a ghost photo? I have! We're good to go. Oop, another interaction, perfect. Nothing beats eating cold cheese pizza. Um, I used to like cold pizza. Not so much anymore. I don't know. I don't really know what happened. Cause like, I, I used to be one of the people that I was like, yeah, yay, cold pizza. Now I'm like, no. Make it warm or I hate it. And I don't know what changed. I really don't. That's what you and your sister used to do too. She hates mushrooms, so we get a whole pizza with mushrooms on it and then she just take them off of hers and give it to you. Yes. I was like, yeah, me and my sister, it used to be that, um, don't blow out my lighter. I can't take it. Can I take a picture of that? It's giving off an EMF. Guys, if the ghost blows out your lighter and you throw it down, it counts as an inter interaction. This is actually based. Oh my god. Oh my god, I never knew. That's cool. But yeah, so my sister used to hate peas and love carrots, and I used to love peas and hate carrots, so we'd always like swap with each other. Now, I like carrots too. Wait, did you blow that out again? I think you did. But I'm not actually sure. I don't want to risk it. I think it depends on the kind of pizza and whether the dough remains soft or goes hard. That's a fair 
point. Hi! How you doing? Even then, because, like, I, I used to like, like, Domino's and, um, Pizza Hut cold, but now if I try to eat them cold, I'm just like, nope, can't do it. Let's see, you do like black olives on pizza? Used to work at Showbiz Pizza. We could make a pizza for yourselves for breaks. You could load it up with olives. Oh, that sounds amazing. Okay, there's all of our photos. Uh, so now we just need to find the bone and let our sanity drop. Okay, so we can do that. Where do we think the bone's gonna be? This is gonna be so annoying to look for it when I can only walk backwards. Now you really want pizza? Same. Ugh. And I was gonna- I was gonna say like, oh, maybe I can co convince uh, Chase to pick us up a pizza on his way home, but then I realized we had pizza on Sunday, so we probably shouldn't. Two pizzas in one week is too much for us. Okay, so far I'm not seeing it. So you gotta head out to visit your parents? You're not back before you end. Have a wonderful weekend. You too, Olivia. Thank you so much for being here. Eh. We love you, and I hope you have an amazing weekend. Also want pizza? If you don't want Little Caesars, and you probably shouldn't get Domino's right now. Aww. I wish- Oh, God. It's so annoying. We used to have a Little Caesars literally, like, a quarter mile away. So it was so easy to get it when we could. But now that location closed, so the nearest one is like a 20 minute drive away and I'm just like, oh, it's too much. Like their pizza's not that good. Oh my God. I'm gonna get hunted. Maybe I should go get a smudge stick. Telly has a pillow right next to your, your pillow. I went the wrong way. So she won't lay on your pillow. Guess where she lays anyways? <laughs> oh yeah, she wants your pillow to think she, that, to. To think you thought she wanted her own pillow is absurd. Also, want a pizza? Oh, yeah, I already read that one. Just kidding. New York has tainted you uh, from ever accepting pizza from places like Domino's or Pizza Hut. Yeah, it's kind of fair. Because I, I did have pizza while I was in New York once, and oh, it was good. It was heckin' good. Yeah, see, I'm about to get hunted, so that's cool. Let's, uh, let's grab a smudge stick. Love Little Caesars cheese bread so much. <gasps> I was so sad. Last time I got Little Caesars cheese bread, it was garbage. Like, it was so soggy, and I was like, what is this shit? Because usually, I agree, it's really good. Last time we got it, though, it was all... Ugh. It was so nasty. Uh, where the heck is the bone? One thing you've noticed, some pizzas are getting greasy as, as fuck. You've just noticed that? Because that's a, that's been happening for quite some time. Like, it's kind of the tradition. You get a pizza, and then you get uh, paper towels and just dab it. Because, yeah, I agree. Like, it's it's eating a crucifix. It's, it's getting a little bit out of hand. Like, it's almost to the point where, like, we don't really eat at Domino's and Pizza Hut too often anymore because of that issue. Because, like, I don't want greasy pizzas. Like, it's nasty, and it makes it soggy. It's so annoying that that's, like, becoming the standard. See, the money markup on pizza is immense. A pizza that costs $15 cost only $1.15 to make an ingredients. Oh, I need to learn how to make my own pizza. That'd be great. How do I make a pizza? Let's see. Ooh, Italian cheese bread sounds good. Where, there's a smudge stick right here? Okay, I'm still not seeing the bone anywhere. Guys, I just want my perfect game. That's all I want right now, and yet I don't know where the bone is. This is so tedious trying to look backwards. <laughs> Let's see, you've never had Domino's. We have Roman's Pizza here, and it's your fave. Never had one of theirs that was super greasy. Oh, that's so nice, because, yeah. The, the fast food pizza chains in America are definitely going downhill, to say the least. Oh, Jesus. Get smudged! Uh... Okay, I'm fine. I got a minute and a half before I can hunt again. See, I remember the days when, like, I thought Do or not Domino's, I thought Pizza Hut was, like, high-quality shit. Like, back in the day when you actually got went into Pizza Hut and had to eat in their restaurant, their pizza was so good back then. But then they kind of shifted to being more like Domino's, where it's just, like, delivery all the time, and it's gone downhill. Your dad makes a homemade pizza on his smoker all the time. Oh, that sounds so good. 
going downhill here in the UK also. Oh, that's unfortunate. Super easy to make pizza. You just have to prepare the bread dough and then you have to make it thin and you have to put it whatever you want on it. Uh, ah, uh, I don't know. I'm pretty lazy, so like you say it's easy, but I also don't like cooking. I don't know, man. <laughs> Nevers, welcome on in. It's so good to see you. Happy Friday. How are you doing today? You got a stand mixer for Christmas? You're gonna make hella pizza once you buy some yeast? Oh, oh, I'll do it. I also need a bigger kitchen. So like we live in a very, very small one bedroom apartment. So like we don't even have counter space. I don't know if we'd even be able to make a pizza. Ugh. The struggle is real. I wanna, I wanna move to a bigger apartment. Eh. I don't see the bone anywhere. Like we're gonna die because I can't find the bone. Maybe I should just give it up. It's not worth it. I think we got all objectives at this point. Yes, we have. Let's just get out of here. The bone's not worth it. I bet you anything it's in the attic and I'm just gonna miss it because I didn't go up there, but it's fine. I don't wanna die because of the goddamn bone. Eh, eh. Go, 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 go. We even just use uh, dough you get from a local grocery store and then you uh, just roll out, put stuff on it and bake it in the oven. Mmm, so good. $10 bone ain't worth dying for. But the problem is, Mecca, is if I find it, I get the um, the perfect uh, investigation bonus and that is worth it. Unfortunately though, yeah, I don't know where the bone is, so. Your neighbors bought an outside pizza oven and they barely use it during summer and it actually infuriates you because you would be using that thing like every day. Oh, have, are you like close enough to them that you can be like, hey, can I use that? Because <laughs> there have definitely been some neighbors in my life that would totally have let me use their shit like that, but... At showbiz, uh, you had to mix up the dough early in the morning. It went off my screen, where to go? And you love that yeasty bread smell, yeah, right? It's so good. It's so good. <gasps> Tier three firelight, let's go. I want them to remove finding the bone. See, I don't necessarily want them to remove it. I just want them to make it so it's not required for a perfect game. Like I think it's so dumb to have that be required, even though it's not even included in the mul multiplier. Like it's so annoying. I mean, but I guess the point could be made that also photos are not included in the multiplier. So eh, I don't know. But Scream Princess, thank you so much for the hundred biddies. Don't have any extra money because you're trying to save money for your own place? Then don't give me biddies! Oh, you pre prepaid for? For my bigger apartment flat? <laughs> no! You keep that for yourself. You get your own place. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Let's see. Husband is lovely though. He, oh uh, wait, oh, let's see. No, you actually hate the wife because she's Snobby Karen. Oh, okay, never mind then. Husband is lovely though. He let us have some of their cooking apples. Aw. That's that's nice of him. But yeah, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Let's let's see what challenge we have up next now that we're done with backwards only. Let me quickly change my key binding back. Oop, there we go. Oh, thank God. So hard to do it that way. No more backwards only. Now I'm going to get 15x, but that's fine. Oh. I don't remember adding this one to the list. Apparently, we are doing an open mic challenge. So I'm gonna get myself killed. I'm dying today. <laughs> uh, let me see, and Vitez, welcome on in. It's good to see you, how are you doing today? Used to be a fan of the local uh, New York pizza, but their quality went down fast and their service even faster. So you stop going there now most of the time. Get pizza dough from the store and make your own. Yeah, that seems to be the consensus. I need to, I, I should try it. Like, I, I don't know if we have space in our apartment to make it, but we should try. Cause like, I want some good pizza. You think the bone and photo should be part of the multiplier? See, I kind of agree with that too, Peaches. I, I, th I think both of them should be in there. Everything should be included in your multiplier. Like, even if people are making a lot of money, who the hell cares? It's just a game. So, <laughs> uh, they're already on your Twitch account, though. That's fair, because, yeah, once you pay for biddies, you can't get them back. So, might as well use them. So, I appreciate it, Scream Princess. You chose to use it here. 
And you do like making bread. You don't like making pies or cakes, but bread is satisfying. I actually used to really enjoy making cake. Cake was like one of the things I would bake it for fun, but that kind of changed uh, when I hit like my teen years. So, bone spawns. It's impo either impossible to find as it's hidden in something like a bed or rug, right? Uh, it's true. It's true, Mecca. Making homemade bread is fantastic. Let me guess. Y'all have, like, the sourdough jars. Is that right? And Eagle Jr., welcome on in. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is a, a mug that my, my boyfriend got me for Christmas. Look at that sweet little stitch mug. It's so it's so amazing. I love it. I love it. Oh, my God. I, I actually missed a follow. Uh, Assault, thank you so much for the follow. I apologize that I, I did not catch that from a few minutes ago. Okay, time. Let's go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I'm so scared. I'm gonna talk. Um, let's not do professional, though. Let's let's do, a, like, a one evidence. Mm. Let's go ahead and edit this one. We'll do a preset off of nightmare mode, but then we're just gonna, like, turn down the evidence. Put that to 60 seconds. Um... I think we'll probably keep everything else the same. Yeah, let's just do that. So nice 5.55 multiplier. You love sourdough dough. It's probably your favorite bread. It is really good. I, I will give it. Why is it Sunny Meadows again? All right, that's fine. You still love making beef jerky, but the price of beef went up a hell of a lot. Oh, that's unfortunate. Don't need a lot of space. Just pr prep all of your toppings beforehand. Then you can just make smaller pizzas. That's more work, though. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Stop, stop giving me reasonable solutions to my problem. I don't appreciate this logic thinking, Chrissy. Like, I'm running out of ways to just be like, I'm lazy and I don't want to do it. <laughs> you don't, no, you don't like sourdough though? Interesting. Yeah, no, I, um, I, I. I've, the only time that I've actually, like, really enjoyed sourdough is when it was homemade, though. So, like, sourdough that you buy, like, the the commercial loaves, uh, they are usually not as flavorful, flavorful, and I haven't really enjoyed those as much. So it's gotta be, like, homemade. I didn't turn on my screens. I hate everything, but we got Barbara Martin. We need average standing below 25%. Capture a photo of the ghost and firelight. Let's go and find a ghosty. Luckily, it is just Sunny Meadows restricted, so that's good. Sourdough is amazing. Just made some sourdough French toast a few mornings ago. <gasps> oh, that'd be so good. That would be so good. Oh, hey, look, a breaker. Nice. That's convenient. You only do all of the effort when someone else cleans up afterwards. You know, that's fair. And luckily, Chase is really good at helping clean up. Like, that's usually how it goes, is where I'll cook dinner, and then he'll do all the cleanup. And it's it's nice. It's a nice system. You like any sourdough, but homemade is definitely better. Yeah. At one point in time, we were thinking of, like, starting to make our own sourdough, but then we just never got around to starting, uh, starting a loaf, unfortunately. Used to make beef jerky, honey beef jerky, and honey and chili beef jerky, and at times hot sauce beef jerky. Oh, those sound really good. You love sourdough, you're just too lazy to keep up with the jar, right? Like, it's it's a lot of work once you get that thing started. But man alive, the bread was good. Hey, look, a Ouija board. I don't think I want to use that. That's going to drain my sanity. But then I could, could get hunted quickly. Might be worth it. Looks like we have this wing open. Okay. Hello! Is there a ghost down here? Had a hunter friend who made a deer jerky, loved it. Tired and moved away, sadly. Aw. Because, yeah, I had deer jerky once, and I remember it being really good. I Unfortunately, I think I was, like, nine years old when I tried it, so I, I don't remember how much I liked it. And my taste buds have changed a lot since then, so I don't know if I would still like it. But I remember it being tasty, but I don't remember what it tasted like. Was Amish friendship bread a thing outside of Utah? The hell is Amish friendship bread? Like, I grew up in Utah and I don't even think I know what that is. <laughs> uh, what that? What? What is that? You love deer jerky, especially with a lot of black pepper. Hello! Ghosty! Used to love cooking when uh, you and your mom did it that way too, where she'd wash the, the dishes and you put them away. 
could together and now you have to do it all yourself though that should have just be happy that you uh make sure he has food every night yeah i'm sorry to hear that that's, that's rough speed of bread has anyone tried newfoundland bread i i don't think i ever have mm. where can i get that i just oh God, now i want bread i i need somebody to like go back in the vod and check to see exactly how long we have been talking about food because i think even for us, we have broken a new record here. This has been a lot of food talk. <laughs> We're doing fantastic. I've only ever seen it in Newfoundland. Well, that would explain why I haven't had it. Where the hell's the ghost? All your friends are bread? <laughs> I am bread, actually. Ghost! Ghosty poo poo? Okay, let's go ahead and close those doors in case it touches it later. Close these ones too, in case it's in the foyer. I have not heard a sound. Start with musical talk, now we're on bread talk. This is a good day. Good day for talks. Now I'm thinking about Gerard Butler again. <laughs> and we have full, full loop, full loop, all right. You wanna know who your favorite music artist is? Yes, Mango, I absolutely do. Thank you, Saw. A uh, mic detection on the right wing. Um, so those are all just ambient noises. Anything you've seen so far has just been ambient noise because those will show up on the paramic as well. So far, nothing that has been on the paramic has been a ghost noise. Bread Sheeran. Yeah. Well then. <laughs> I love it. Uh... There is a whisper, though. Nice. Okay, it looks like it was coming from that room. <laughs> Got he. I thought it was coming from the parabike. <laughs> Mango, thank you for the 25 biddies. Oh my god, Gerard Butler making bread would be something to watch. Best cooking show ever. So you don't remember who from church gave it to you, but it's basically a cinnamon sugar bread that accounts for dividing the mix to share with people. <gasps> oh! Oh, I totally know what you're talking about, Scream Princess. Yeah, 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 I totally remember that. I, I forgot about that bread. That was good bread, though. Like, I remember having that kit for a while. Oh my god, yeah, I totally forgot about that. Well, hi there, ghost. That is EMF5. Yep, yep, yep. Boop. Nice. Uh, so we only have one evidence turned on, so that's it. That's our evidence. Um, talking about food, we are all bred differently. <laughs> uh, let's see. You're a crepe. You're a weirdo. Hallie, I love you so much. That's beautiful. <laughs> uh, Glad to know there are others who know what that is. You love it toasted. Oh man, I want to try some. Now I need to go to a Newfoundland just for that. I had toasted scrambled eggs a few days ago and it was delicious. Ooh. All toasters toast toast. A toast to toast? <laughs> toast to toast with Daphne Blake? Sorry. I don't know. That was a toast bread. Mm. <laughs> Conversations making you want French toast. That's fair. Oh, guys, I was weird. I used to hate French toast. I I used to like gag at it because I thought it was like soggy and weird. I was uncultured. I was a swine. I like it now. I was wrong. I admit it. Like, I don't know why I never liked French toast. And then I tried it again like last year and I was like, oh my God, what it, what was my problem? What was my problem? Okay, we need to get the ghost to blow out the firelight. Probably had some crappy French toast, though. My mother made it. <laughs> so, like... You're probably not wrong. <laughs> uh, you love pancakes and waffles, too. Yes. Pancakes are amazing. Waffles are just pancakes with abs. And they're also amazing. <laughs> Yeah, just don't, don't, don't let my mom hear that. Luckily, I don't think she will ever, 
ever watch any of my videos because she does not like video games. She does not like ghosts. She doesn't really know how to use the internet. So I think we're safe. I think we're safe that she will never hear that statement. <laughs> Cause yeah, nope. I always had it, she would make it at home and I would be like, ah, it's nasty. And then I tried some, I, we got it at a, a restaurant and I was like, oh shit, that's actually good. So yeah, there was probably some error in how it was being made. She didn't cook very much other than bagels with cheese. Hey, those bagels were fucking delicious though. Also, uh, I turned off the breaker, so it's not a gin. You didn't know, so it cannot be construed as an attack. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she wouldn't care either. Like, she she knows. She was never great at cooking. She's gotten better, though. I, I, because uh, when we did the whole, uh, hello for- Fuck. So, uh, when we, uh, did the sponsorship, uh, with HelloFresh, my mom did sign up for that. So she's been cooking more meals w using their recipes. So, like, she's getting better. Me too. Like, HelloFresh has been great for my cooking skills, but- now you mentally see pancakes rocking a six pack. Good, that's the way it should be, Mecca. Enjoy. Right. Okay, the hunt's over. I already forgot the challenge. Yeah, I have open mic. I should shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh... Oh, that was rude. Mango! <laughs> Can we appreciate that the actual jump scare did not scare me nearly as much as, like, the Christmas meowings? Like, can we talk about that? But thank you for the 100 biddies. <laughs> I did live, because luckily the ghost did not come down near us. Uh, was that an early hunt, though? Well, we'll never know, but that felt kind of early. I don't know. Because it could potentially be a Raiju. That'd be an early hunter. Uh, but I- honestly, maybe it could just be we've been in the dark for longer than I think we have. That is entirely possible. Let's go get hunted. Uh, my nose is itching. <laughs> Imagine this ghost just being like, Who is this woman just talking about fucking French toast? <laughs> uh, nah, the ghost just didn't come anywhere near by us, so I got lucky. Hmm. What did you come back to? Probably chaos. What? Well, I, I, grope the grope the loaf and slap your toast. Key to a good breakfast. Can I get that on a t-shirt? <laughs> oh, I love I love that. Let's see. And hey, dragon, welcome on in. How are you doing today? All right, got the lights back on. Let's go get hunted. The ghost was hungry, I'd be fucked. Sir, what kind of toast do you like? Would you like to slap some toast with us? Dad toast dough? No, nothing. You never get the butter to bread ratio right when you make toast yourself. You always prefer it from restaurants? Really? I always find that like butter from restaurants always tastes differently than the butter I use at home. And, but like in a good way, you know? I think that they might be using like margarine, honestly. I, I need to get margarine. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Let's see, you're good. I'm glad to hear that, Dragon. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. Ghost is like, I can't eat anymore and kill ya. If I eat, I'll get too fat. Hi, how you doing? Oh, uh, there, we can actually rule out both Obake and Gorio, because Gorio would have to have dots as its one evidence, and Obake would have to have fingerprints as its one evidence. So we know it can't be either of those. Use margarine at home and the restaurant butter always seems a bit more salty. Interesting. Hmm. What do they what do they use? That is the question. Instead of breaking bread, it's slapping toast. <gasps> now I just want like a breaking bad parody that's breaking bread. Yep. Also, cat butt. Boop. There you go. You've never heard margarine pronounced that way? How are you supposed to pronounce it? Is that not how it's said? I have questions. Might be margarine with MSG or just uh, extra salt and sugar added, maybe. 
Got some booties. Jesus Christ, why is that one so loud? Why are the Christmas ones so freaking loud, man? <gasps> so I panic smudged. I I panic smudged. All right. Well, there it is. Meowy Christmas, everyone. <laughs> the ghost of Christmas past, clearly. <gasps> oh my God. Who was that? You again, Mango? I think it was. I have no idea. I don't. Is there a sound alerts message? I don't see it. Where'd it go? <laughs> I need to go get another sponge stick, though. Kitty cats scare you so much. That's fair. <laughs> They're terrifying. <gasps> oh, my heart. My heart. I need to go get another sponge stick, and then I want to see when it starts hunting again, because spirit is on the list as well. So if it hunts, if it tries to hunt again uh, before three minutes has passed, it Happy can't be it's... Christmas. It's Christmas. Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Chrysler. <laughs> I still love that one so much. Hallie, thank you for the 25 biddies. It's okay to panic smudge, happens to all of us. It's true, it's true. Nothing to be ashamed of. Happy Honda days. <laughs> uh, I really, one of these days I'm gonna remember to turn those off. Today is not that day, but one of these days, Christmas will die. Oh. Okay, so far it's not hunting. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here and wait till it hunts again. Let me catch up with chat real fast. Goes into a bakery. Excuse me, kind sir. May I grope your loaves? <laughs> oh, that'd be terrible to go and say. You thought of church slapping bread for sacrament instead of breaking it? Just psh. <laughs> high five the bread. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this ghost is not hunting. Are you actually a spirit? Nope, it's okay. Never mind. Not a spirit. That was uh, at well, just over two minutes after smudging. Uh, now I can't do anything. Hey, ghost, can you come here? Excuse me. Come here. One of these days, we're gonna turn it off six months later and they are still on, right? We're gonna have Christmas in July this year. We ready Christmas. When can I find you? I don't know why that reminded me, but I was watching some TikToks last night. <laughs> and there was this one that was like the funny news clips compilation. And there was this one news story where they were like, yeah, my brother used to break into my house and steal my TV. And then an announcer was like, but now he's dead. And that's what it made me think of. I don't know what the fuck that clip was, but it was hysterical. Christmas in July. There's no reason why we can't have a Christmas tree so high. No, 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 no. Leave them on long enough, it'll be Christmas again. You know, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. June is actually when Yule winter solstice is for you, so that would be appropriate. There you go. Look, yeah. I'll do it just for you, Chrissy. Okay, ghost is still hunting. Come on, baby. So I definitely want to hear its hunting speed. Oh, we know it cannot be a, a shade, because I feel like our Sandy was nowhere near 35% when it first hunted, maybe. It's kind of a risky thing to say when we don't know what our sanity actually was, to be honest. But I feel like it wasn't. Oh, yeah. You freaked out the first time you were at a friend's house and they kept their uh, margarine in the cabinet and not in the fridge. Isn't it? Because, yeah, I, I always thought that, that was one of the things, like, if you didn't put it in a fridge, it would go bad. I don't know. Honestly, I've never owned my own thing of margarine before. We always get butter, so I know nothing about margarine. I might not even be saying it right. No one answered the question, so. <laughs> uh. You who's never had a TikTok account hearing about things that are on it. Okay, ghost. Hey there, you're fast. Fascinating. But like, how fast? I should stop talking now. <laughs>
Let's see. Nightmare Mushu, thank you so much for the 20 bitties. Oh god, now everyone's just gonna spam me with uh, the the Christmas ones. Anyways, it's definitely a Raiju because it got faster around electronics. Boom, baby. We have almost all objectives. I need a ghost photo, and it was an early hunt then. I was right that it felt way too early. Because uh, a Raiju can early hunt at 65% sanity if there are any electronics uh, within range of it. I guess it would go bad eventually, but that would probably take weeks and weeks, really. Hmm. Or like, okay, I'm saying it right. Good, I'm glad. I'm glad. I was gonna say, my whole life would be a lie. <clears throat> Let's see, and uh, Paco, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? It's nice to meet you. Remember putting the cheese package in the cabinet and stayed there until you realized it was- you let- wait. You let it there? What? Ugh, that can't be good. If it had no dairy in it, then it won't go bad before you can use it, but it's still odd to see. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. We did eat a bean earlier. Yep, yep, yep. I got, uh, tutti fruity, so that was good. And hey, Derek, welcome on in. How are you doing today? I got all my sandy pills, though, baby. Let's take those. Take all the sandy pills. That was a little bit excessive, but we need a ghost photo. Uh, oh, shoot. We have the Ouija board again. I can't use that to get a ghost photo, man. Best pho ghost photo you've ever caught was that at Tanglewood, yourself and your friend tried getting a ghost photo, so you shut the door to the blue room. Ghost walk walked right into it, got stuck, and was illuminated by the dots. Nice! That's a good way to do it. Fortunately, we don't have dots this time. So hopefully we get a full physical manifestation ghost event. Did you kill the breaker again? No, you didn't. We're fine. Sandy, that's insane! <laughs> uh... Okay. I'm running through the hall, getting stuck on things. Ew. I would like to know why are there cabinet or shelves in the middle of the hallways? Excuse me. Who puts weird shelves everywhere? All right. Give me a ghost event, you little jerk. Mr. Raiju, can you please give me a sign? Miss, miss, Mr. Raiju? Ghost me a ghost? Hello? I have a tag for you. No? Alright. Time to wake up? No? Okay. I do want to uh, let my sanity drop a little bit, because that'll incre increase our chances of getting a ghost event. There is only one path. Well, I mean, there's the path of righteousness, or the path that rocks. So there are two. And I'm gonna lead you down the path that rocks. Thank you so much for the 50 bitties. The path of Raijuness. <gasps> that sounds scary. Timing, right? <laughs> Quick. Name that movie. D who got my reference? I hope a lot of people got it. The path of Rockchiousness. That's a good one. That's a good one. Come on, ghosty. Give me a ghost event. Nope, not School of Rock. Though that's a great movie, too. Well, that doesn't count, Scream Princess. No, you're not allowed to, you're, you're not allowed to be the one to answer that. <laughs> of course you know it. <laughs> that's like, yeah, it's a Emperor's New Groove. Emperor's New Groove. Most underrated Disney movie, in my personal opinion. No, you're not, because uh, I've been quoting that to you since we were, what, five years old? <laughs> actually, when did that actually come out? We were, it, it couldn't have been that young, but still. You'd have guessed what Hallie did. That was, like, that was a good guess, that was a good guess. Hey, what's up? I'll take a picture of that interaction, might as well. 2000. Oh, so we'd be six. So I was actually pretty damn close. <laughs> Is it really that old? Ah, I was thinking later 2000s, but man alive. Haven't seen that in years. I just rewatched it like six months ago or something like that. Mm. We're all old here. It's fine. Oh, actually, I can get some interactions. Wait, I have two lighters. Cool. I'll double check. That's like, yeah, dang.
Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, I got the ghost photo. Bye! We're good. Easy peasy. Sounds so much like a Jack Black one. Oh! I just saw, like, a clip of Jack Black, like, cosplaying as, um, Bob Ross, and holy crap, that was fun. Oh, what the... I'm getting trolled. Mango, thank you for the 20 bitties! December 15th, 2000. Damn, I didn't think it was that old, but yeah, that, I guess that sounds about right. Ah, uh, classic. Absolutely a classic, and I, I still firmly think it's one of the most underrated Disney movies, so... Jack Black is 100% a national treasure. An international treasure. He's so good. He's so good. You weren't even born. You were born in 2004. Damn. Whew. All right. Let's get out of here. It's clearly a Raiju. We got all objectives. We are good to go. What even was that challenge? Oh, yeah. Open mic. I survived open mic, guys. I did it. Hey. I got real lucky that during that first hunt, it didn't come anywhere near us, because I completely forgot what we were doing. You're a 97 baby? Barely call yourself a 90s kid? Yeah. Look at all that money. Look at all that moolah. Oh. Skippity doo da. Oh wait, I haven't unlocked what am I doing with my life? Oh, but shit, $10,000? Are you kidding me? For a lantern? Man, inflation's getting out of hand. But anyways, I forgot that we unlocked tier three uh, firelight. Let's see what our next challenge is. And let me uh, n get us off of open mic. Okay. Uh, no, we already did backwards only. We don't- we don't want repeats. We got so many challenges on this wheel, I'd like a little bit of variety. <gasps> Ooh! It is the permahunt challenge. Let's go. Let's go. 2004 was the year your uh, sister's youngest was born? Dang. Another 97? Yay, 97 babies! <laughs> I know. I'll turn him into a flea. A harmless little flea. And then I'll put that flea in a box, and I'll put that box inside of another box, and then I'll mail that box to myself, and then when it arrives, ha 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 ha! I'll smash it with a hammer! Anyways. I, I want to watch Emperor's New Group now. Making you feel old. <laughs> 77, you're in it. Tad in the primordial end. Ah, oh, nah, you're good. You're good. You are old. Well, don't you worry. I identify as an 80-year-old woman, so we're fine. We're fine. Born in 89. You remember when fuel was cheap as fuck? <laughs> oh, how times have changed. Uh, what are we what are we doing? Oh yeah, permahunt challenge. Let's zero sandy, um No sandy pill restoration, but ghosts are slightly slow. Uh and we have no hiding spots. Where where are hiding spots? None. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on activity monitor at least. Fuse box will start with that on. No curse possession though, because we're gonna be permanently haunted anyways. Um, do I want anything else? Actually, we are going to do this on uh, Camp Woodwind. That's like the best map for this challenge. So I'm gonna make sure we get good weather. Anything but heavy rain is fine, but we're gonna set it to sunrise because I think it's the prettiest. So let's do that. And we will do Camp Woodwind. No hiding spots. Let's go. Should you represent your year in, our year and share? I mean, to be fair, I already, like, gave it away by saying that we were 6 and 2000. So if people know basic math, I've already revealed it. Ah! <laughs> the secret's out! Uh, let's see. We got Katiana Bailey. We need Incense, Escape, and Paramike. Okay. Easy enough. So like I said, it's the permahunt challenge. Wait, oh, did I leave one piece of evidence on? I think I did. Okay, so we, we can use that as a backup if we can't ID this ghost from the hunting speed. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just throw this in. Let me grab one more smudgy. Throw both of those in, and then we'll grab the other two. Yay, Mav! Woohoohoo! Grab the lighter that I'm already holding. Perfect. Okay, let's go. Still remember the day. You first came here last year, Easter egg event, made a bad joke. Find all the eggs. 
Does that make the ghost in yokai? <gasps> I re remember that joke. Jesus Christ. Oh. Easiest game of my life? It's a Hauntu. It's butt ass slow, apparently. But I can see its breath constantly, so there's that. What's weird is, I feel like it should be faster than that with the break, with like it being outside, but all right. That's cool. Hi there, little ghosty. Easy. Or hear me out, could be a mimic, but so we'll definitely want to get hunted one more time. What were our objectives? Cleanse the area and paramike. Okay, let me go grab paramike. Maybe sunrise is warm. I was like, yeah, it is, it is not considered cold weather, but I still, like, would have felt like, uh, because it's still probably going to be under 10 degrees Celsius. So I felt like it would have been a little bit faster than that, but apparently I'm wrong. So your mom is an English teacher. Last year when you were in, uh, her class, she tried to do math and was like, stick to English? I freaking love math. Actually, I liked English class too. I just like school in general. I was... Oh, you're crawling! I was gonna say, where the hell is the ghost? Can I get a whisper while you're hunting? Excuse me, ma'am. Can you whisper, please? Whisper baby in my ear. Uh, get smudged, nerd. I'm getting stuck. Okay, I did not get a whisper. No. No. <laughs> Pink Wolf, thank you so much for the 50 bitties. No, it can't be the twins, because you can see uh, it's cold breath. So the only ghost that has uh, cold breath when the breaker is turned off is Hauntu. So, like, it definitely is not twins. It's not getting faster in line of sight. It's 100% a Hauntu now, especially now that we've had two hunts. Uh, so it can't be a mimic, so we're good to go. Uh, did I do all side objectives? I did. Boom. Easiest game of my life. Uh, but I can make it better, because we can get a perfect game without any problems, because we're going to put down salt. Hauntu scream! Hey, Nikinzi, welcome on in. Why do you hear singing? Because the ghost is hunting? Call me crazy, but I'm pretty sure uh, we're playing a video game here where ghosts do sing during hunts. But maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm crazy. Geometry was the best math subject for you. Teacher made it more enjoyable, though. Did we have the same geometry teacher? Because if we had the same one, I agree with that statement because he was fantastic. All right, ghosty. Come at me, bro. Never heard that humming before. Well, it happens quite frequently, Nikinzi. Uh, so yeah, that, that's, that's pretty common in Phasmo. Uh, what did I come back here for? I have no idea. Oh, photo camera. There we go. There we go. How are you doing today? I'm also gonna just outrun it. Who needs smudges? You hated math, but always... Uh, came top of the class. Well, nice. Well done. I loved math. It was a good time. I think we had the same teacher that year. I think I was ahead of you in the class. So yeah, yeah. Did you did you take geometry freshman year or were you did you take it sophomore year? Was I I took that one in freshman year. Ghost, stop turning off the breaker. It doesn't matter, man. It doesn't change the temperature. Oh God. Hi there. Sophomore year for you, yeah. Because, yeah, I, th I, th I think uh, our high school only had one geometry teacher, so it probably was the same. Hi, there. Think I can get a ghost photo? I don't want to ruin my perfect game, though, because this is 9-3- or... Did I put down all three yet? I did- Ah! Hi! You trying to double back on me? You can't catch me! You can't catch me! La 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 la! Don't you double back on me! How dare you! How dare you! Okay. Hunt's over. We're good to go. Nine photos here. Okay, hopefully those all counted. Nice. Okay, I just need one more photo and the bone, though. Where the heck's the bone? Because if we don't find the bone, we can't get a perfect game. Hello? If you were a bone, where would you be? Okay, ghost is hunting again. Only reason why you tolerated it was your math teacher was cool. That always helps so much. Oh, hi. 
I think there's a ghost coming for me. I don't see the bone anywhere, though. So that's unfortunate. Hunt's still going. Okay, Hunt's ended. Maybe it's in the bathroom. Let's check in here. At least I think the hunt's over. Yeah, there we go. Uh, nothing here. Where is the freaking bone? Can I has bone, please? I don't see it anywhere back here. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. You'll have math, but not geometry. Teacher was awesome, though. Well, that's good, at least. I was like, I... I liked some geometry. Uh, there were a lot of, like, proofs, though, that I wasn't, like, I didn't love them necessarily. I think I, I prefer, like, algebra and stuff like that. Algebra and calculus I had a lot of fun with. Uh, what am I doing? Do I have any more smudgies? I think there's one on the ground there. Yeah. So I might just go smudge the ghost so I can have a little bit longer time to actually look for the bone. It's gotta be somewhere. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hi. I always had a harder time with algebra. Yeah, I'll, I'll like... Just do, do it! it. Make, Make your dreams, dreams come true! true. Like, I liked both. I really did. But I, I could do without proofs. Hi. Because it, it always felt like really unnecessary for me where they were like okay this is how this thing works show why this is true and i'm like but but we know that it's true why do i have to go and do the proof i don't this is lame like we already know it's true just let me be happy <laughs> oh oh run. i got it i got it run run away run away run away Reinventing the wheel, right? <laughs> all right, there we go. That should be a perfect game. Just flee! We found Parson Bone! Because it should all be three-star photos. Yes, yep, perfect. And I marked Hauntu down, correct? Yes, all right, let's go. Demonstrating even uh, the most obvious things is fun. Eh, see, I, that's, that's good. I'm glad you like that, but I, I was not a fan of it. And Mrs. Lancet, it's so good to see you. Actually, not ninth grade, seventh grade, because you were accelerated. Uh. Let's see. Oh, your algebra teacher was your freshman year thought you were dumb, so always sent you out the hall. Well, that's just rude. I hate it when teachers do shit like that. I had a teacher that did that. Well, let me see. A uh, DJ. It's good to see you. Thank you so much for the 15 biddies. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me see. You need to lurk. Need a uh, bio break. Then need to attend to your cat's litter box. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much for being here, Mecca. It was great to see you, and thank you for the lurk. You were a good bullshitter back then, so it's fine for you. I'm still a good bullshitter, but I also enjoyed pre-calc. Same. Same, same, same. Anywho. That's a obvious haunt right there. Look at how close we are to level 80. Come on. Come on. We gotta get there. Let's see what our next challenge is. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh. We have the no door touch challenge. So how this one works is I'm going to have to throw all of the equipment into the front door because we're allowed to open the front door at the start. But then we are not allowed to touch any door until we have locked in what we think the ghost is. Not a single door. Only the ghost can touch the door for us. Uh, so we got to go and build a little custom for this. This is going to be it's gonna be fun. This one's a fun one. I seen. Hey, Charms. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? All right. It was awful. You were also chronically sick at that point, so you did the help but got none, so dropped out and got your GED instead. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Like, that's not cool. To have a teacher, like, ruin your school experience so badly that it would come to that. Like, Jesus Christ. That's un so unfortunate. Also, I'm goody, just a little sleepy, so you have an energy drink. Hope I'm doing well in the puppies. Really yeah, Yoshi's doing pretty good today. He ate his breakfast, uh, and has been having mostly solid poops. Because I'm sure that's what people want to know about my puppy, but it's been good. We are definitely doing this challenge on Willow, though. This is the best map to do this on. Uh, we are going to have starting Sandy B at zero so that the ghost will hunt us immediately and ho hopefully open some doors. But we are going to have some Sandy Pill restoration. Um, ghost B, let's put that back up to normal. 
Is that a penguin I hear? <gasps> penguin! It's so good to see you. How are you today? He had more trouble with trigonometry than calculus. <gasps> Ooh, trig was interesting. Ended up working for you at your uni. You've gotten the support you need with math courses and a lot of uplifting people in your life, so it's easier to handle. <gasps> Yay! That's so good. That's so good. I'm glad to hear that, Mrs. Lancets. All right. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Interaction amount. We do not want that on low. Excuse me. I'm trying to adjust this. I want that on at least medium. Because uh, I want it to touch doors a lot. We also need to change... I'm going to make it two evidence for this. So it's basically like a nightmare mode, but let's put this back on random. So it's not tanking our multiplier, but do doors starting open, this has to be set to none. Uh, number of hiding spaces, we're going to put that up to high. Sanity monitor off, activity monitor off, because we can't leave the map until the end anyways. Fuse box, uh, we'll have that start on. Just for shits and giggles, I guess. It's only a 3.95 uh, custom, but that's fine. I, I'm not here for money. It's great. We're just trying to do the challenge. Once so you're good, just finishing work early and hanging out there for 30 minutes before taking care of dogs and dinner. Oh, that's such a great time. I'm glad to hear you're doing good. Almost to the weekend. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Trick is annoying because it's a lot of memorization of how the different sine, cosine, tangent, and all their variants work. See, and I was okay with that. Like, I, I'm fine with memorization. Y'all heard my story about how I made flashcards for Phasmo. Yeah. <laughs> so like I, I was okay with all of the memorization for that. We got Gregory Gregory Greg Gregory Clark. We need EMF, firelight, and repel. Alright, so like I said, we just have to go in, take in all of our equipment, and then we cannot leave until we think we know what the ghost is. We have two evidence turned on. You hate flashcards with a passion. And I took that personally. I love flashcards. <laughs> <laughs> Flashcards are my baby. I love making them. I think it's just because um, I have a weird obsession with my own handwriting, if I'm being entirely honest. Like, the the process of making flashcards, like, I'd always use, like, pretty colored pens, and I would just have a blast writing them. Your favorite was geometry? Yeah, ge I had a great time with geometry, too. Uh, as long as it wasn't doing the stupid proofs. You're a big lover of cheat sheets. I like cheat she sheets, too. That's fair. <laughs> yep, sorry, Sammy, you're banned. You banned. Uh, Trig was the best section of math you've ever had. You got high 90s in that one. Same teacher, she was great. I think I also know what that teacher was. She was good, too. I loved her. She was great. All right, uh, what else do we need? Let's take in a couple of fire lights. That'll be useful. Lighter will be good. Use flashcard for physics equations when you had a test. Yeah, that... It's a good way to do it. Goddamn physics. How dare physics exist. <laughs> Your handwriting is horrible, but when they let us have notes or a sheet of paper to use on a test, you would write as small as possible and write every possible piece of info on that sheet. Yes. we ha I had so many classes in college, mostly physics cl courses, that would let us do that. And it was a lifesaver because, like, there was just so much information and a lot, like, once you get to college, a lot of professors would kind of be like, we don't care about memorization anymore. Like, we would rather you just know how to apply this stuff that you can obviously just Google in a way where you're actually using your brain and, you, like, in a critical thinking way. So that was nice. Kitchen smells so good because of that cake. Yes! Let's go, Junior! I, I'm happy for you because cake is, yes, delicious. I agree. Take in that as well. That was nice, right? Yike. Oh, so hungry. So very hungry. I, I, um, see, now I, I actually miss doing math. I might need to start. Where'd my math book go? Yeah, so um, if you if y'all didn't think I was already a nerd, which at this point, like, you guys know, I'm a nerd. I've kept every single math textbook I've ever had in my life, uh, and I like to do math problems for fun. And I I am in that mood right now. I want to go crack out open to my math books and do some some problems. Oh, I probably don't remember anything though. It's fine. Can you post a link of a recipe with the cake you cook? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh wait. Yeah, no. Go go ahead. Go ahead. I give you permission. <laughs> I'll just uh. 
Because, yeah, if it looks like yeah, all recipes, yeah, that looks fine. That looks fine. I realized as I said it, I was like, wait, no, I'm not supposed to allow links, but... It's cake. Guys, how could I not share cake with everybody? <laughs> Math nerds multiply. Let's go. Uh, did they let me keep the high school ones? Um, technically, no, but I would find copies of them at, like, um, thrift stores and just have them that way. So, like, I have the old geometry book that we used to use. Uh, I have the, the calculus one we had. Uh, I have the... Do I have the trigonometry one? I don't think I have a trig one. I don't think I was ever able to find a, a used copy of that, unfortunately. But that's okay. All right. Um, do I have everything I might possibly need? I think I do. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, wait. I haven't taken insanity pills. Oh, God. That was going to be d d a disaster. You're just a coding and software nerd. Coding is fun, too. I, I did a little, uh, quite a bit of coding in my physics program uh, and had uh, had a lot of fun with it and then did some coding uh, just on my own time after I graduated because I was just enjoying it. Because, like, coding and listening to, like, old-timey tunes, like the music you hear from, like, Fallout 4 uh, from the radio on that, on that game, that hits so differently and it's fantastic. It's so fantastic. Let us break cake together. <gasps> Slap the cake! Eh. Okay. I think we should be good to go now. And grab my headlamp. So like I said, once we go in, we cannot touch any door until we have the ghost figured out and we have done all side objectives. Those are the rules here. Them's the rules, noob. Uh, what is that from? What is that quote? Wait. Oh, it's from uh, the quarry. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I appreciate that I'm quoting something I can't even remember what I'm quoting. Oh, frosting's so good. I was a programmer for 25 years. Learned... COBOL? Fortran and had a tape assembler. I don't think I've ever heard of COBOL. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I don't think I've heard of that language before. Alrighty. Here's the hoping. The ghost is uh, somewhere close enough to open this door during the... Oh, shit. Hi! How you doing? Don't spawn on top of me. Oh, God. Open the door. Open the door, sir. Is my headlamp on? Yes, it is. Let's get that off. Do not spawn on top of me. Oh, yeah. Ghost is just right here. Um. Well. Also, lights are on, so I don't know why I'm in the dark here. Have a ghost writing book. I don't know if it's roamed to us or if it's actually here with us. And this is just its room. I don't see my breath yet. <gasps> Door touch? That was not that door, though. You're so rude. Why you gotta be so wooed? Um... Okay. Um... Hey, can you come here? Hello? Excuse me? <laughs> Hello? Can, can you come here? Hey, 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 hey. Come here, come here, come here. Hey, 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 hey now. You're a ghosty. Get your game on. Open that fucking door. You suck, man. Oh! I have a suspicion. I have a suspicion, and I think that might have been Jin. Open the door, please. Sir. Sir, open the door. Open the goddamn door. Sir? Sir, please. <gasps> I got trolled by Mango at some point. When did you play the door sound? I missed all oh, you. You cheeky little Mango. Thank you so much for the 40 biddies. I just now realized. Oh, I got played. Okay. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna play some salt here, though. So that we can do, like, a wraith test. Hi. How you doing? Okay, that... And what else do- oh, is this? 
What is wrong with that photo? It just partially dropped down the wall. So that's cool. Wait, wait, my lantern interaction did not count. I'm so sad. There goes my perfect game. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Hey, could you possibly open this door? I've gotten all objectives though. Wait, 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 wait. Did I already do this? Cause I think I heard Jin speed up when it came to us. You almost burned the cake. No, don't burn that cake. Let's see, some Python and R here. Yes, Python was so good. I love Python. Open the door. Music starts, play the guitar, play it again, my child. <laughs> uh, so far you've dealt with uh, Python, HTML, React, React Native, and Go. I'm not familiar with React or React Native. I did a little bit of HTML as well. Very old languages, interesting. Ooh. Come here. It's definitely not a yokai. Oh yeah, you're so speedy. As soon as you see me, you're so speedy. It's absolutely a gin. I've already done it. I'm cracked. I'm too good. I'm too good. So yeah, it's not getting faster around just the electronics, so it's based on line of sight for sure. But it's not super slow out of line of sight, so we know it can't be a revenant. So yep, it's just gotta be a gin. Cool. Didn't even have to leave the front room. Oh, baby. Easiest game of my life, aside from this nonsense right here. I don't want to talk about it. Got Jin Dan, got all side objectives. Yeah, that was the easiest no door, door touch challenge of my life. It did actually just touch the door, though, so that was nice. But should. Thank you, Mango, for the 50 bitties. <laughs> Look at all that. That's beautiful. Now we should hit level 80. Do we unlock anything at level 80? I don't know. Well, money, I guess. Sorry, hit enter too soon. Oh no, you no worries, Pig Wolf. I do that all the time. Eh. Well, that's, I didn't need $800. I really didn't. Could I get, I don't know, a fucking crucifix? <laughs> <gasps> oh dear. Okay, it looks like we'll probably have time for one more. So let's see what our last challenge of the day is. GG's all around. Thank you, Penguin. Nice. This is a good one to wrap it up with. One of my favorites, the no electronic equipment challenge. Let's do this. Or should we just make it no electronics, period? Make it like the... The really annoying challenge? Anyway, let's hey. do it. Okay, so we're gonna have starting Sandy be 100%. We have to make sure we have absolutely no electronics. We're gonna turn off the monitors. Uh, we're gonna turn off flashlights. We're gonna turn off the breaker. Let's make it real rough on me. I wanna do it. Uh, do, 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 do. So off, nope, broken, full on broken. Do I want a curse possession? I kind of don't. <laughs> I'm over curse possessions. <laughs> Ghost will have that be kind of normal-ish. Uh, evidence given. I'm gonna go ahead and turn all evidence on because it's we're gonna have a limited number of evidence we can have anyways. Why is that tanking it so much? What? Additional reward multipliers above times four will only add 50% of their values? Interesting. I didn't realize there was like a specific... So yeah, if you try to make it higher than what you would get... Huh. Okay, well, that's whatever. Whatever. Because of that, I I, I want to make it two. I want a 4.75. I want this to be a real challenge. Okay, sprinting's on. Okay, this should all be good. Let's go ahead and hit apply. So we need to fine tune our loadout though. Um, so I'm just gonna come over here. Um, actually, let's hit remove first so that there's nothing in our loadout. And then we're just going to add things individually. So we can use ghost writing book is fine. Thermometer is fine. If we have a tier one UV light, that's fine. So we can have a UV light. Let's, let's bring two of those. Can't use video cameras. We can definitely use crucifixes. So we'll bring... But you can only have two of those. Don't bring more. Lantern is not an electronic. So let's bring in those. No, no flashlights. No headlamps. Lighter is fine. Smudge tickets are fine. Oops. No paramic, no photo. Ooh! Ooh! This is not considered an electronic. 
Let's go. I can use a photo camera because it is not an electronic in the game. Ah! This is like, this like, bitches. All right. Whoops. Uh, I hit the wrong thing. This one. Okay, and sanity medication is fine. And tripods galore. There you go. Perfect. Okay, buy and add. Let's go. So that's what we can use. Uh, let me make sure... Yep, I got everything. Uh, let's go ahead and just hit random map again. Tanglewood! I will take it. Oh, I forgot salt! Oh no! I need salt! You're right, I did forget salt. Um... Yeah, we, we do want that, so let me go ahead and reload. Let's go back into Tanglewood, because the random map chose here. No salt! We gotta have the salt. We are salty, salty little gremlins. We need salt. Immediately. Cursed possessions are so 2023. Let me tell you. Why are you not letting me leave? Fuck you. All right. Can't have our margarita without salty. Exactly. Ooh, I could go for a margarita right now. I haven't had a margarita in a long time. Welcome back. Oh, thank God. Thank God we don't have to deal with a fucking uray. Let's go. Salt is life. Um, whoops. I need... I forgot to uncheck auto-add, so it just added everything back in. I have to redo it all. That's fine. It's fine. Okay. Let's do this again. Got a thermometer, got a UV light, crucifixes, fire lights, uh, igniters, smudgies, Hello. photo camera, salt. Salt. We can only bring in three of those, though. There we go. Okay, and then tripods. Okay, is that everything before I go off? Book, 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 book. Yep, you're right. Thank you. Okay, book is in. I think that's everything. Let's see. Hey, Sil, welcome on in. How are you doing today? Uh, Paramike is an electronic, so nope, we can't have that. I think, I think that's everything. Why tripod? Because it's funny. <laughs> Uh, we have a glow stick. We got the UV light. We're fine. A tier one flashlight is an electronic. <laughs> so we can't have that. <laughs> so I think, yeah, that's everything. I think we're good. Tripod for the memes. Exactly. It's the safety pod. All right. So it, it had chosen Tanglewood for us. Uh, tier, tier one EMF is still an electronic. So yeah, if you go right here, if you guys didn't know, you can check to see what is actually an electronic. Hello. That is still considered an electronic. So nope. Nope, nope, nope. That's not allowed. Let's go. Tier 1 spirit box is made out of paper. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Let's see. And uh, Skantas, welcome on in. Hello to you as well. I hope you're having a lovely day. Let's see. Just getting up. How's stream been so far? It's been really good. We've had a lot of fun. Uh, there's been... We broke a new record for how long we talked about food. So it was a good day. It was a good day. Let's see, we got uh, Marcia Barton. Can't do Paramic. Uh, we can do incense, and we can capture a photo. Let's go. Uh, but flashlights are disabled, so I don't even know why that's here, but oh, all right. Uh, so we cannot use Spirit Box. We can't use video camera. Uh, we can't use dots. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, EMF is out as well. There we go. So this is what we have to use, it looks like. Yep, 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 yep. Is tier one head cam count as an electronic? Um, I actually don't know, but either way, it's gonna be useless when I'm on single player, so it doesn't matter too much. I wanna say yes, because the ghost, if you have it turned on, wait, 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 yeah, no, I know this. Yes, it is an electronic, because if you have it turned on and you don't know that it's on, it will kill you. I, that was included in my, my tier one guide video. I remember now, so yes, it is an electronic. It's very frustrating, because if you don't have your uh, field of view set to, like, 80 and above, uh, you can't see the indicator light on it. So you won't know that it's turned on during hunts, and it's very frustrating. <laughs> All right, let's go. So we have two evidence turned on, is that right? Yeah. What about the camera? Uh, which one? Video or photo camera? Because the tier one... Right, broken breaker. The tier one photo camera is actually not considered an electronic. Fun fact. Yep, yep, yep. Photo, uh, the tier one photo camera, you can hold that during a hunt and the ghost will not be able to sense it. And I, like, we, we had a whole debate as to why it wasn't considered an electronic, but it's not for the terms of the game. So that means I get to use it for this challenge and I like it. I like it a lot. 
So we are starting at 100% sanity. But our sanity is going to be draining pretty quickly because we don't have lights. Unless I use my tier 3 lanterns uh, to help prevent sanity drain. Maybe we should do that. Until... Actually, let's try to find the ghost first. Uh, hello there. Wicked, right? Divi, thank you so much for the 50 biddies. I appreciate it. Okay, we have a hiding spot there. Um, I haven't heard any interactions from the ghost. Oh, yet. Just kidding. Ghost is sounded like the kitchen area. Uh, but it might also be a utility room and or... Oh, garage. Might probably garage then. Oh! <gasps> Well, well, <laughs> oh, Becky! or mimic. Also, oh shoot, uh, Jard, I don't think I said hello to you. I like saw your name and I was going to say hi and then I got distracted. So hello, sorry, I missed your message from earlier. I hope you're doing lovely. Oh my God. Okay, we need to capture a photo though and cleanse the area with the incense. So we should probably get hunted and make sure it's an Obake. Because, yeah, it could be a mimic, and we cannot look for ghost orbs. So. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Just having dinner. Ooh, that sounds lovely, Jard. What you got for dinner? And Mango, thank you for the beaties. Also, oh, this is going to suck, though. Trying to... Well, it's not an Oni. Trying to charge the fingerprints to... Oh, my God. Okay, see, this is why I do like the tier 3... Oh, it's just gone in general. I do like the tier 3 UV light because it's so good at... It's definitely an Obake. It's definitely an Obake! <laughs> oh, have we had any fucking doubts? There you go. There you go. Look at this right here. <laughs> This is the world's best Obake, actually. Oh my god. Holy moly. Holy moly is right. I, Holy moly. I, to get the Obake handprint twice in a row that quickly, like, holy crap. We got so lucky. Um, If we want a perfect game, we do need to go find the bone, though. Um, I can't see worth shit. One of the best possible outcomes for a... For actually any... Any run, like that was so fast. <laughs> I'm so happy. Don't think you've ever gotten it twice that close together, right? Like that, that was insanely rare. Okay, well, we gotta find a bone though if I want a perfect game. Oh, wait, I can't get perfect game anyways. Just kidding, because we can't, we can't do paramite. So never mind. It's raining tacos from out of the sky. Tacos. No, no need to ask why. Just open your mouth and close your eyes. It's raining tacos. Hi, Raiders. What a time to come in. <laughs> Lettuce and shells, cheese and meat. It's raining tacos. Punch! It's so good to see you, friend. Guys, if you do not know the lovely Punch Muffin, hit that follow button. You will not regret it. She's absolutely incredible. Plays a lot a variety of horror games. It's an absolutely delightful place to be. How are you, friend? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. If you don't know me, my name is Amber. We play lots and lots of Phasmophobia here, but we also do a little bit of a variety of other uh, cozy, spooky games as well. Uh, for example, we just barely started playing Dredge, so we'll be playing that on Tuesdays now until we're finished with it, and I freaking love it. Let's see. And bye, Zach. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please tell me I got the ghost photo. No! <laughs> Doing well? I'm glad to hear that, Punch. How have the ghosties been? Well, this one's a little jerk. Uh, so for Raiders coming in, we are currently doing uh, the No Electronic Challenge, uh, and we just got fucking blessed because we ha saw the Obake fingerprints twice in a row within like three minutes of each other. Thank you. Thank you. I got it. I got it. I, I captured the photo, so now we just need to cleanse the area with the ghost and we can get out of here because we can't do paramike. So where did my smudge stick go? Oh, easiest no electronic challenge of my life. Please tell me that didn't work. Shoot, shoot. Ghost already left the room. Quick, get in here. Got it. Nailed it. Run! 
Curse you, two star interaction photos. <laughs> Let's see, Dredge Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. How can it be better? You're not wrong. I, oh no, I forgot to do it. So last time we were playing Dredge, I kept making the joke about how I was slowly turning into Jack Sparrow. So I was gonna order a uh, a pirate hat to wear while we play Dredge and I forgot to do it. Oh, so it, won't, it wouldn't be able to arrive in time. Ah, oh, shoot, okay. But anyways, anyways, we got Obake, let's go. Easy peasy. 69, nice. <gasps> uh, watch it still be a mimic. Oh, thank God. Oh, that was good. That was a good one. What a lovely way to end it. So unfortunately, we do, we were about to end it. So for the Raiders coming in, it was great to have you for like two minutes. Um, but we gotta, we gotta raid it out too. Cause I gotta go take care of a little puppy who needs to go potty. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. This was insanely fun today. Uh, there we go. Let me get the game closed. Let's go see who is live. Great timing because you're going to see a movie soon. Oh, what movie? Wait. No, you were sort of talking about the Broadway musicals earlier. That's, that's different from a movie. So yeah, what movie? And it's our jam, actually. I just accidentally closed my browser. There we go. Just got back to you. Oh, I'm sorry, Mecca. <laughs> Thanks, Mango. <laughs> Thank you for the 20 biddies. You're having way too much fun with that. Uh, okay. Who is actually playing Phasmo? Everyone's playing Lethal Company again. It's one of those days. Lethal Company has taken over everybody. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, here's somebody. Uh, the Lycan Goddess is currently playing Phasmo and they're doing a community game day. Okay, cool. So let's go say hi to the Lycan go Goddess. We've raided them before. They're absolutely delightful. So here we go, we'll start that. Thanks for the stream, of course, Mecca. Let's see. Oh, no, no need to apologize. No need to apologize. You have a great weekend too, Jard. Thank you so much for being here. See, it's a wrestling one, has good reviews. Interesting, yeah, I, I don't think I've seen a trailer for that yet. Let's see, and you too, Pink Wolf. Thank you so much for being here. The Iron Claw. Yeah, no, I haven't heard of that one. You too, Penguin, it was great to see you. I hope you have an amazing weekend. And a big thank you to my mods, uh, Sammy, Hallie and Sylphie, I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything you do. Uh, let me see. And Nevers, you have a wonderful weekend as well. Peaches, thank you for being here. Mango, I love you to death. I will remember to take down those Christmas alerts. <laughs> Let's see. And Punch Muffin, again, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys are not subscribed, you can use that first raid message. If you are subscribed, you can use that second one. Copy and paste those full messages into Lycan Goddess's chat once we get there. Uh, next week, we'll be obviously playing uh, more Phasmophobia on Monday because we'll do the new weekly challenge. And then on Tuesday, we'll be doing Dredge. Wednesday, we'll be more shenanigans, but no, don't. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. Let's see. And thank you for being here, Chrissy. I adore you. I will hopefully see you guys next week. Have an amazing weekend. I love you all, and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye, everyone.